I'm Jason Sauer here with Track Shot Live. I'm with Anthony Wallace from Kentucky, right? Yes. <laughs> all right, and we are at a destination derby. All right, we talk about it all the time on Track Shot Live. We are in Seattle. We started our day at Gasworks Park, um, which is something I love to do, get a good view of the city where the planes land and take off right there in the water. Uh, where else did we go? Uh, the troll. Check out the troll. The troll, that, of course we the troll. This guy, the master troll, had to see the troll underneath the Fremont Bridge. So uh, listen, I know some of y'all have been to Seattle. Uh, I would love for you to send in your comments to us because uh, we want something to do on Saturday night. Tell us where your favorite place to eat is or where you've been. All right, right now we are at the grave of Jimi Hendrix. Now Anthony likes to visit graves of uh, rock stars. Yes. Right? Definitely. So we thought it'd be pretty cool to uh, check this out with Anthony and see how uh, how he feels about seeing this. Yeah, definitely. One I never would have made it to before, but uh, I'm really glad to be here. I know it's odd, but I've been to Elvis, Johnny Cash, and now I can add Jimi Hendrix, and there's hundreds of others. So Demolition Derby, Famous Graves, I'm all in. Right? Demolition Derby has taken you all over, hasn't All over, it? everywhere now, yeah. Yeah, we're in the Pacific Northwest, which is beautiful weather. Look at this, it's a great time for Demolition Derby. The fair puts on a great show. The Wacom Demolition Derby really puts on a great show. Um, the antique tractors that pull the cars off the track is some of my favorite things that I like to see there. And uh, you know, it's gonna be a really good time. I'm excited, I can't wait to go. And then getting to experience Seattle has just been unbelievable. Right, we picked up Bill. Bill drove here like 13 hours to come hang out with us. If it wasn't for Bill, we ain't nothing. So, salute to you, Bill. Scene. imagine walking up the sidewalk of Memphis all of a sudden stopping and looking up in this window seeing Elvis Presley looking at you walking right on past track shot we're in Memphis Tennessee just jumped off the trolley Grand Central Station right across where Elvis come back from the military and right here the arcade restaurant the oldest cafe in Memphis uh, famous for Elvis Elvis was always coming in here his teenage years one of his favorite breakfast places you never had chocolate gravy? No, what is this? It's chocolate gravy. I I've never, never had it yet. But they say try it on your biscuits, chocolate gravy. Is it really like chocolate that. though? Yes, it's really it chocolate. Is. Yeah, it's really chocolate gravy. Huh. Can't believe y'all never had that. We're here at the Elvis Presley booth. Back in the 50s, uh, Elvis Presley running around Memphis. But this is where he always came for breakfast. I think even into his later years, he still came here quite often. Great place, good food, uh, lots of history. Check it out, Destination Derby. Welcome to my place, Mike Tix here. Enjoy what you see. Here from Hastings, Minnesota at uh, my casa, my beautiful little place that I, I call home. 
I quit counting because I got more than what my hand and my feet can go at. So uh, I think I'm up to about 31, maybe plus a lot more. I got into this because of a, a high school teacher at, a, at Vocational uh, told me that if I got my crap together, stayed in school, stayed out of trouble, he'd let me build my first derby car for the Dakota County Fair in class. And uh, that's what he did. And now here it is, 20 plus years later, he's my best friend and, and uh, an amazing role model. Reason I'm still doing it is part of uh, just addiction, passion, drive, focus, motivation, and just pure craziness. Yeah, I am married uh, to a beautiful woman named Billy Joe that is just as crazy as I am because she puts up with this stuff day in and day out. This is what Derby is here at the Tix Casa, bud. We don't ever have a simple day of life around here. Just keep going and going and going and as soon as you get a spare second, you go pick on another project to just keep going and going and going. So, just kind of fun. You know what, my uh, my best closing thought to this is, is I want every youth kid to get out there and take a look at this. Do you guys have any questions? Come on and ask us. I want to put you in here so you can understand what the love of the passion of the sport is. It's just uh, my absolute pleasure to show it to other people to enjoy it just as I have for many, many years. Welcome to Track Shot Live. We are day two here in beautiful Yuba City, Northern California. Uh, my name is Jason Sauer. I'm here with my man, Michael Tix. All right, so last night we watched a lot of Demolition Derby, and it was really good. Every single heat was top notch. I, was, I wasn't sure whether to, uh, whether to scream or woo. It was pretty great, you know, and so, uh, we're gonna go through that later today, uh, catch you up on what kind of derby action that happened. But today we had the track transformed by the heavy handyman here with Williams Enterprises. And uh, they re-dug out the track, made a mud pit that they're gonna be, there's a time track where they, there it is. They run the trucks through the mud pit today and it's timed. And then around the uh, mud pit is obstacles and you're gonna see all sorts of vehicles. You're gonna see some most wanted fine art class vehicles uh, running from last night's derby today uh, in this obstacle course. So there's gonna be some tie-in and segues from last night to today. And uh, we gotta salute our guy, Blaine Williams, and everything he does here and the crew that he has here in Yuba City. Uh, it's top notch, everyone's working hard to put on a good show and the crowd is starting to fill in. 
Yeah, it is, absolutely. And, uh, you know, take a look around. You see all these people walking around the track. These are all the competitors. Uh, you know, they're out taking a look at the lines of the track. They're seeing the lips of the jumps. They're looking at the mud hole to see what it's all about and everything like that. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they just want to see the, the position of these obstacles and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, they're trying to familiarize themselves with the track before they uh, go out and, and uh, get rowdy and wild and everything like that. Um, you know, you know, Sauer, you had just said something about last night about the Derby. You didn't know what to do. Um, I am so disappointed that you were biting your tongue, chewing on your nails, not getting as excited as you should have. You wanted to yell and scream <laughs> like a 12-year-old. And I, uh, I missed that. Okay, I missed that. Don't ever hold back your excitement like that ah, again, all right? I it don't you. matter if you look adolescent on here. It's show your excitement because that was – one of the best shows I have ever seen in my life from, from drop of the flag to the end of the flag. Um, it was. Not it was heavy hitting, fast pace. The track didn't beat anybody. No. Uh, you know what I mean? They watered it down for the most wanted class. Uh, and from there, just they let it ride the rest of the, rest of the evening. And um, it was really exciting. We saw some great stuff. We saw some youth become uh, national qualifiers. Yeah. And... Um, you know, then there was the Derby Expo last night in Ohio. Yes. Yeah, so in Preble, Ohio. So uh, more youth class and cadets happen in Demolition Derby here across America. Um, so we're we're building that. We're helping build that. And uh, so Williams Enterprises is a proud, uh, you know, what was he saying there in the pit about being a part of the youth class? Uh, I can't remember exactly how he stated it, but, you know, they had the privilege to invite five kids from the youth class here qualified to, to go to Frankie Guy's show over there in, in Pittsburgh, so or uh, uh, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a really neat thing. I mean, uh, you know, and the thing of it is, is back-to-back uh, -back winners. You're going to be talking with uh, Caitlin's father here. Mm -hmm. uh, later on today, we invited him on to come talk about it and in the, the proud moment to uh, watch his daughter pull a back-to-back -back win here at uh, Yuba City at the Spring Extreme. And, you know, she'd went to, to PA last year and competed. And, uh, you know, there, there's going to be the opportunity for more more kids to go from, from California all the way across uh, the country. Yeah. I, Blaine was saying how uh, Casey from Smith Metalworks calls him and uh, makes sure he's got everything just right for this youth class to uh, be able to represent California at the highest of levels and uh, you know there's good communication going across the country about you know make making sure everybody is competition ready you know and i think that's that's yeah. good that's good yeah that it was that that was actually a really good conversation that we had with blaine because you know he said there was a lot of people across the country that reached out you know frankie guy being another one um you know that reached out and assisted him in in direction in the uh the the, the youth class um it's something that was brand new out here last year that that people had never seen in California. So uh, not only was it uh, craziness to get insurance, acceptance, and everything mm -hmm. like that. Then all of a sudden, now here it is. They've got it going, and and it's uh, you know it's assistance from all across the country to make it as successful as it is right here in California. Well, it was great last night. My heart was so heavy and with like pride because when uh, youth pulled out. And I turned around and I looked at the crowd and I saw so many parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents. Uh, yeah, I had friends of grandparents, <clears throat> getting me right now, out with their phones like it was a recital. It was a big moment. Uh, you could feel it in the crowd, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, we had a bunch of huge shout outs last night uh, thanking us. Uh, there were a lot of people that couldn't make it to this show because of, you know, logistics and stuff like that to get here and they watched it at home and uh there was a couple youth parents or uh, grandparents that that uh sent out some some personal thank yous and everything so no thank you you guys for tuning in at home and enjoying it uh don't uh it, it is absolutely our pleasure our sponsor's pleasure and these promoters pleasures to be able to bring this to you for free 99 and enjoy it so please take advantage of it absolutely what's happening today is tough truck and is cool you can see everybody has like their car club and they got their matching shirts on um oh this guy did you want to talk to him about that happy birthday thing oh is he the announcer yeah that's the announcer okay yeah i'll talk to him you take care of this hour all right i'll uh describe what i saw today for tough truck 
Um, so as I walk around the track, uh, there's some older trucks, you know, 60s and 50s Chevys, Fords, really lifted on some big tires, uh, five-ton military axles. Uh, the horsepower sounds incredible. Um, so what I found out today was the pit there that they're going to be running these mud bog trucks through with the time. One of the trucks is 10 and a half feet wide. And so they needed to make sure that the pit was specifically 12 feet wide. That way this really big truck, <laughs> the winner from last year, can rip right through this pit. So uh, you're going to be impressed with how they have uh, electronic timing for the trucks and it's a lot of horsepower really fast and uh, it's pretty exciting especially when you're sitting track side track side like we do um, but much like power much like demotion derby we're going to start the whole thing off with a power wheels kind of a parade over the obstacles and uh, then we'll do the national anthem and, uh, and then I'm not sure the running order yet, but it's a lot of fun stuff out here. Uh, every level is represented. So you're gonna see, we spray painted a CRV with uh, an eagle with a mullet. <laughs> so that's our track shot live representative out there. Well, you know, we have, uh, you've seen it on track shot live before. You've seen the freedom bird before, uh, thanks to Simple Solutions. And uh, so that was uh, giving a little shout out to Freedom, the TSL bird, shouting out for Freedom and, and uh, thanking us for everything. So uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, that, that, was, that was kind of a cool thing. And as Sauer took Freedom and, and turned it into something wild and crazy for the, for the trend, that's, uh, you know, Sauer just can't leave stuff alone. It's gotta be cooler than cool, so. Well, it's, uh, I was running low on my spray paint, and I knew it was the last thing we were going to spray paint this weekend unless we could find something where we could, you know, th throw down for a tribute tribute for Bobby or something, you know, um, before we jump on the flight. So it was fun to be able to just, uh, just finish off a bunch of cans and make the CRV look pretty cool. And then coming up with that group is the Looney Hoons. Um, let me see what they made. Let me show you. Sorry. These are people that are organized and ready. Thank uh, you. Listen. Yeah, let me see what their paperwork. So, day two, the tough trucks are so, uh, they love Track Shot Live. They love that we bring it out here to you um, where their, their friends and family get to see them run in a sport that they love. So, they wrote us note cards for the Looney Hoons. Uh, they got, I think, four or five uh, vehicles out there. And I am, I was, telling, I was telling Mike Ticks, this is literally the signs of what it is. And, you know, they know. Look at this. Spring Extreme. I love it. Yeah. I love it, man. I think this wow. is really cool. You know, thank you so much for their great support and, and wanting to have fun with us and everything like that. That's that's so cool. And the organization and um, just, I don't know, I, I don't know how, it, just the, the welcoming. It is. There's uh, the group. The groups here um, really appreciate um, Blaine creating a track for them to show off their trucks um, and then Track Shot Live being able to help show off their trucks and this is their love um, and this is how they love motorsports right and I think it's a really fun two groups of people uh, here in Northern California who love you know love their trucks love their derby cars and uh, we get to showcase that live right here on track shot live so uh, check it out if you can please jump in the comments uh, my son Rowdy's in the comments say hi to him um, just say hi to one another, let everyone know where you're watching from. Um, that's really cool. I love it when you guys do that. And, uh, so last night we had people watching from Canada, New York, Pennsylvania. And, uh, so today it's going to be the same. And, uh, so say hi to one another there in the comment section. And, uh, I'm excited for this stuff to jump, man. Right. I, I love... I love, like, the suspension is, like, 
really long. And um, so these things are made to like squish and, right? Well, you think about how wild these things got last year. We had some rollovers. We had uh, we had that fire on that one. Uh, we had Katrina that was just straight sending it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is this is where, where Katrina came from. Uh, and Sauer tagged that thing up with that vibrant TSL on the side. And, and did she represent us in the best way possible? She uh, thank you that, a ton. She sent that Grand Cherokee. She backed it up all the way to the fence. Give her a couple revs and just went for it all the way off this obstacle. Yeah, it was it was intense. It was insane. So, uh, you know, uh, you've seen a couple of the Facebook Live videos, and uh, Katrina was on a couple of them. We were talking to her. And, and uh, you guys, if you missed some of the stuff on the lives that we did on the Facebook page, please jump on there and take a look at it. We had some great interviews. Uh, Sour tagged up Dax's little uh, F-150 for the Power Wheels yesterday. Yeah. <clears throat> um, heck of a cute little kid. Um, Mom and Dad, I, I apologize. I, I, I didn't catch your guys' names, but uh, you guys have got an adorable young young fella there. You have to go back and you have to watch that live. <laughs> um, I was rather, I was mean to the little guy. I you made, made a, him? I made him make a choice if he wanted Sour to finish his truck or do something else. And uh, so I, I kind of took the kid's candy away from him. <laughs> uh, uh, that poor little little guy, he spit out his gum, and he's like, ah, oh, finish painting my my power wheels. Well, I told him, pretty, I, I gave him, really cute. I gave him the ultimatum. I says, do you want Sour to finish your truck, or do you want to spit out your gum? You know, <laughs> and he wanted to keep his gum. All right, then, you, you know, you can't, uh, your truck's not going to get finished painted. And then next thing you know, his mom kind of coaxed him into it a little while. So he spits out the gum, and, and he kept looking down at that gum. He was Immediately so regretful, so <laughs> bummed out that you know hey, you burned him, man. Yeah, he's pretty much <laughs> figuring that. I bet you Jason Sauer would have never made me spit out my gum. So uh, Tix was the Tix was the mean person yesterday, but it was it was absolutely adorable. And you got to ask him. Uh, you got to listen real close when I asked him if he was going to be a sandbagger or not. Uh, you know, take a listen to that, and you guys, you'll you'll fall off your chair laughing. But uh, had a had a great time with that. So so little Dax was was uh, he was the stud of the spotlight yesterday. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, there was a lot of fun and characters from yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. There was like uh, our guy Mark, you know, telling us it's his last ride after. Yep. Come on. Yeah, Mark Hare, the florist, the, the, the skinny look-alike. <laughs> he uh, told us at the end of the, you know, after the run that it was his last ride. I was like, oh, I wish I would have known all day Yeah. that, you know, we could have had a bit of more of a tribute to him. And, uh, you know, he's uh, one of my favorite Demotion Derby characters, uh, you know, in the history of Demotion Derby for Jason Sauer. I love that guy. Yeah. I think he's awesome. Um, always, always make us feel at home here. Uh, invited us over for dinner both nights. Uh, we unfortunately never did get to make it over there to enjoy uh, their dinner. Uh, last year they brought us a plate of food, and it was it was out of this world. Yeah. Um, so we're so sorry we missed out on that, and actually so sorry we missed out on everybody last night. Um, when the derby was done, we were cold, we were beat, we were wore out. Um, not really we, Jason, um, and I, Bill. Seriously, yeah. I was so chilly by the end of the night. Uh, I was, Sour needs a shower. Yeah, yeah, and Bill needs his relax time. He was, uh, we wore him out too. So, you know, you got to think about it. Bill's here, you know, six hours before the show, putting all this stuff together and everything like that. So when he starts whining and crying like he does, that's uh, so we just kind of put up with it because he <laughs> truly does deserve that. But, um, but yeah, so uh, everybody in the campground last night that we did not get to go see, Artie and everybody, uh, you guys, seriously, thank you so much for the invites. Um, sorry we missed out on it. We will absolutely take a rain check on it and make up for it. Uh, it's this, just thank you, you guys. We cannot tell you enough what it means to us when we come here and you treat us like family and, and take care of us like you do. So thank you. Yeah. And and they want us to tell you that there's two Californias. <laughs> and this is their California. <laughs> and it's beautiful. And they want you to come visit. Yeah. Um, uh, once again, you know, uh, Matt Tag got married yesterday uh, in Giant Stadium there. I can't, can't believe how awesome that would have been. So congratulations on the Tag family expanding. 
and uh, you know Josh was here, but the rest of the tag family was at the wedding. Uh, so we missed out on a lot of those people, but uh, the Canadians were down here in force. Had great conversations, great seeing our northern brothers across the border. Uh, once again, we are we are going to struggle. We are going to try. We want to get across that Canadian border to show the TSL family what Demolition Derby is up there on the top side of the border. That sounds like fun. You know it. You know that sounds like fun, and you know I want to do Monterey, Mexico. Yeah. You know that's destination bucket list derby heck yeah that way we're truly the full north american like ah uh, last night those american flag cars just kept getting skinnier and skinnier there was a time where i watched it jump all four tires off the ground <laughs> and it went like right into it i was like you don't often see a derby car jump all four wheels off the ground. Right. You know what I mean, they're usually pretty heavy. But those little galaxies, I don't know. It was so fun. So if you don't know who we're talking about there, that was uh, a father and son team out there, Dave and Austin Emery. Uh, those were the Stars and Stripes uh, cars that were out there, and they, they, they put a beautiful paint job on those things. They were out there for the national anthem. They had the flag flying on the back of one of the cars, and uh, those guys went out there, and they tore that track apart. Um, I mean, you know, in, in one thing, I want to give those guys a ton of credit. I mean, they're obviously father and son. They're running together. But they were on opposite ends of the track doing the dirty. They were destroying people, hands down. Um, Dave Emery, um, legendary wheelman, legendary. You know, uh, you know, he's run. He's been to Mayhem. He's been to Kansas. He's been, I mean, he's been to some places. But, you know, he likes his home state here, and he derbies here. And he's really good here. Um, but I'll tell you what, uh, watching that man run, that car in reverse, you know, you watch all these Crown Vicks and everything like that run in reverse and wedge in and lock in. Um, I ain't ever seen a Crown Vic do 80 across the track and just <laughs> junk an old Mercury, um, hands down. Then he lost a tire up front, and he struggled that steering in that reverse, and he still just drove backwards. Um, so father, son taking one and two. They took a $10,000 and a $5,000 check out of here. Congratulations to them to the win because they were true performers. Uh, they were entertainers. Um, the entire show yesterday was full of entertainers. Um, you know what? That is the truth of the best of the sport of Demolition Derby right there. The, the competitors went on that track. They went from competitors to performers and entertainers. They put on one hell of a show yes. for everybody in the stands yes. and everybody at home. So congratulations to that, you guys, um, to every single driver that entered the competition yesterday because every one of you guys did what you needed to do. You came for competition, but you also put on an amazing show for everybody to watch. Right. And I uh, salute the uh, crew behind the scene right here, Sequoia and Bill, be able to capture all that great stuff. So you can rewatch that on the Track Shot Live YouTube channel. If you haven't like, share, or subscribed, please do that. Um, that's important. Bill, can you wipe the drool off of Sequoia's cheek? He's sleeping there. We can't even give him props. Look at the kid. I guess we worked him too hard. My God, he slept in today even. <laughs> God. Right. And he's on uh, California time. Yeah, right. This is this is his natural time right here. Oh no, that's right. He just got back from Brazil or Beakway or wherever the heck he was surfing Tahiti. the pro tube. Tahiti. Tahiti. Which happens to be pretty close to Easter Island out there in the Pacific. Well, that's uh, that's that's pretty good geography. I, um, do they have Easter eggs there? Uh, you gave me some Easter eggs. Thank you, Billy Joe. Yeah, I was going to say I didn't. Billy Joe and Bugs, they sent them. It's, I couldn't even get an egg. Here, take this to Sour. Tell them Happy Easter. It's like, uh, what about the guy that pays the mortgage here? Can I have a uh, – I'm kidding, you guys at home. My family treated me good. Uh -huh. They treated me good. But Sour got my absolute favorites, Reese's peanut butter eggs, the round ones, like the Cadbury ones. Yeah. Yeah. Those and are I, good ones. And I wonder why I stay fat as hell. God. <laughs> We were just talking about how we conquered fitness when we were younger. <laughs> yeah. You don't really need to worry about that now, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Our women love us the way we are. Whatever shape we are, the women love us to that certain point. Uh, <laughs> huge shout out to all of our TSL homies that are back at home. 
that are doing their thing and everything like that. Um, you guys, uh, truly, let's not forget uh, the TSL family has been busier than heck this season already, and it's just going to get crazier. You know, we're double dipping this weekend. We were at the expo with uh, with a handful of guys. We're out here with the full crew mm -hmm. with Bill and Sequoia and and uh, you know Susan and and Sour and I doing the doing the do out here, showing the whole the whole crew wire, showing the whole world what's going on. So um, we appreciate all the all the likes, follows, and shares and, and comments you guys are throwing at us. Yeah, definitely the. The uh, TikTok has been going really good, you know. So thank you to everyone who's been supporting over there on that platform. That's pretty great. Uh, if you haven't went over to that platform, Most Wanted Fine Art, uh, Track Shot Live, Cannonball, you know, support right here, getting it going. And uh, we appreciate you guys, every bit of it. Uh, we appreciate the promoters who take a chance on Track Shot Live, helping them market and create uh you know extra visibility for their shows in their town so uh yuba city california we are in a beautiful beautiful space and uh the skies are blue just a couple little clouds and uh i got this full thing i don't want to get sunburnt today so i'm just i'm just gonna go ahead and wear all this uh, um my side right here is already getting warm. I was like, I forgot my ball cap in the truck or in the car, so we'll have to probably grab that. But you know, the crazy thing is, Sour, is when that sun goes behind that cloud and that breeze coming across here, it's actually kind of chilly. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's, uh, it's, all the, all, it's all the temperatures at yeah. one time. Hey, uh, hey, Bill, could you run, uh, let's, let's talk about, can you run that car for that raffle, please? Let's, uh, let's run that real quick. I want to talk about something right now while well, we got a free second because once these vehicles start running here today, the tough trucks and the mud trucks and everything like that, it goes pretty darn quick. Right here, this right here has been donated for the April 27, Smashing for Skin. Uh, this car is going to be a raffle. It's going to be on the OG bucket. You can buy as many spots as you want. This car will be at Ottawa, Kansas, the 27th, bringing from Colorado. Terry Frank. Mr. Terry Frank himself has donated this to the cause for Skinny to help the Elzer family with some medical bills and stuff like that, uh, you know, uh, battling the, the unfortunate line of cancer and, and all the other underwritten uh, health issues that Skinny has had over the years. Uh, he is fighting, he is kicking ass, but he still needs a ton of prayers and a ton of love. And right here is a great chance to help out a little bit in the great respect from Terry Frank giving this thing up. $50 per chance. It's going to be the OG bucket draw. Your name will go on a popsicle stick. You buy as many as you want or as little as you want. It'll go in there. And on the 27th of April, that thing will be live on the track, live on TSL. That thing will be given away, you guys. It'll be that way. So like I say, jump on board this week. It will get it live. And uh, you guys hit the ground tonight when you lay down in bed and put a prayer out there for Skinny and the family. They still need it. They, uh, they are still battling day to day. Uh, you know, he's doing better, but there is still uh, just a, a, mile, a million miles of recovery that need to be done there. So, uh, you know, like I say, prayers to the Skin family and, and jump on the OG bucket right there, and we'll be doing that. You do not have to be present to win. If you do win the car and you're not around, we'll get it back over to Skinny's. Um, you know, we may have an extra spot on the trailer if somebody up north wins it. Uh, we'll, we'll figure some stuff out. But like I say, you do not need to be present to win this thing. And uh, just jump on it. Uh, all the details will be out there on the OG Bucket, Bubbles OG Bucket Draw, and uh, all that fun stuff. So please, you guys, be part of it. And send the prayers out there for all the people that are battling and struggling. Any health issues out there, um, you're always in the family's thoughts and prayers right here at TSL, Free 99 Family. Heck yeah, bud. That's a good one. I hope whoever wins that lets me uh, paint the hood uh, with skinny. That'd be really cool. Make that a nice daily driver. Oh, God. I'd, I'd put the bearded freak on there. That's, uh, <laughs> that's it. Skinny, I, I know you're at home. I hope you're listening and watching. Uh, uh, dude, love the love the living hell out of you. Miss the hell out of you. The whole family does. And uh, just keep fighting for it and get that health back into place so you can get your lazy butt back on TSL, all right? That's right. That's what we need. It. We need you. We need yes. you, buddy. Yes, that's we for do. for sure. Certain. The whole family. The whole family. 
Um, so, yeah, you guys, that's uh, people were talking about some of that stuff. I got some more uh, messages about that, and I wanted to shoot out at that and let everybody know that, yes, that is going on. And, and uh, we said we'd post it again today, and, and the information will be put out next week. I talked to Bubbles about getting the bucket draw up and everything and, mm. and getting the site. So it'll, it'll be ready to go right away, bright and early this week. Um, but, yeah, thank you so much, you guys, for the support. And Terry, Frank, and the Frank family. Yes. Um, you guys freaking rock. Uh, That's Terry, beautiful. Terry is, uh, I, I just, uh, it's uh, short of words. I, can't, I don't even know, I, I can't even explain it, um, you guys. But It's very generous. Yeah. It, it's Very it's, generous. And that's a great prize for someone to win. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? I would love to win that and just daily drive it in Pittsburgh. Oh. That'd could be you so imagine great. that thing climbing the hills? I'd be love that it. Thing, I, oh. I'd fill it full of so much community service stuff. I'd be just out there in the streets with it, with the trunk wide open. Oh, I'd get Christmas. Yep. Christmas would be awesome in That's PA right, with yeah, that thing yeah, right I'd, there, that'd man. Be my, my, wow. My Christmas sleigh. Yeah. That's, that'd be great. That's awesome. That's a beautiful car. You yeah. know? Have you seen it in person? Uh, we did. We did. It is It is. It is sexy. It is sexy. So, um, yeah, it, it is. It, it's, it's, it's a great car. So, Please, everybody, jump on board. Jump on in. Fifty dollars a spot. Buy as many as you want, and uh, your name's going to go on that stick. And, and and I'm sure there's going to be, you know, there'll be some bonus money given away too, you know, because old Skin Dog himself is a generous. You know, he, he's struggling to do what he can, but he's still he's still got the heart that he's going to give the bonus draws. He's going to give that extra one and everything like that. So, um, yeah, yeah, you nice. guys just pay attention to it, see what's up, and, and please join and help. That's uh, April 27th. Track Shot Live will be there in Ottawa, Kansas. Yep, and uh, there's still plenty of room if you guys want to come run the Derby. They got the uh, the Hobo Bone Stock class that, uh, you know, the the purse, you know, there's a $5,000 purse put together. Uh, you know, Mike Hill from from Hill Hillside Gra Hill Job Graphics, you know, threw some money out there from that. There's going to be some other money from other areas gone, gone in there. TSL threw some money in there to cover that purse. So there's a great $5,000 purse for the hobo bone, uh, hobo bone stock motor swap class simple car you can build that car in 40 hours you guys so jump on there and let's figure that out and uh, let's let's load that place up to 27 with derby cars let's wreck some stuff for the right reason and uh just get out there and do it yeah that that's beautiful i love it when the derby world comes together you know uh we wish skinny well you yeah know? And I love uh, being able to spray paint him, uh, his cartoon character, all over, all over America. I got to spray paint it there in Miami, and that was a ton of fun. Uh, definitely in Kansas at Blizzard Bash. That was pretty cool. Um, I enjoy hanging out with Tommy from AB Cat Tech there in the Blizzard Bash parking lot uh, with Skinny. Those are always just good times. Oh, oh yeah. Um, uh, Father Time out there in uh, New York. Um, Decker who? No, 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 no. Father Time himself. Uh, uh, God dang it. Uh, he was actually coming over to Skinny's house, and he is battling some cancer. Mm. Um, and he unfortunately had to cancel because, you know, he's got some procedures and stuff like that. So, um, you know, hats off to there. There's so many people that are ill in battling all across our, our derby family so uh just trying to trying to keep it you know keep everybody in their thoughts and prayers and everything so let's uh, let's kind of remember everyone let's not just focus on one let's remember them all exactly well said you're get, always I, so I, articulate I, my man I, I, i'm just real good at bs they said that on the internet yeah that's good they that's said good. that i that was one of the very specific things they said. <laughs> I, I, I will, I will, I will never doubt that. Yeah, I was, it was when that. I was filming you with uh, Troy Tag. <laughs> They're like, "Go film some more cars." He's gonna just keep BSing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's uh, we, we can just do stale air too if you guys want. We have no problem with that. Also, um, <laughs> I'm just joking. No, you're not. I hear a motor running. Oh, you guys. Yeah, this, this, is, the, this is the 10 and a half footer. Yeah, this thing right here, this truck that's coming out here, um, uh, this is like a hill and hole competition truck. Uh, I believe this one won the mud bog last year. Yes. Uh, it did, didn't it? Yep. 
Um, it was a different color last year, though, wasn't it? I think it was like blue Red. or something. Oh. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know for a hundred percent. I thought it was blue last year, but uh, this this thing you can see it in the backdrop there coming on through. This thing is a nasty, nasty, salty piece of equipment. Yeah. Um, killer old Ford body, super, super clean, uh, full steel, uh, you know, chassis underneath it, coilovers. I mean, it's this thing is it's built. It's it's the real deal. Um, you know, this is like a Brandon Myers type builds what he builds, you know, for those monster trucks and stuff like that. So this is right up his alley. This has 700 horses. I talked to the driver earlier. Is it? Okay. I Yeah, it's. Well, we, he was there when we met Blaine. Oh, oh, that's. That was him, wasn't it? Yeah. I was looking at him. I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I, I, I looked at him and, you know, last year we talked to him a bunch and, uh, yeah, that was, it's it's nasty. It is. It's super beautiful. Uh, 700 horse, um, what is that, 67 Ford. It's beautiful. Um, watching them climb down the tires to get out of it, you know, gently. <laughs> well, you know, you know the crazy thing is, is your family would be very disappointed if you didn't know what that Ford was, Sour. Well, it's a 67. Well, there we go. Like <laughs> I say, your family would be very disappointed. They would be. Uh, I grew up in a truck family uh, where my Uncle Joe bought the trucks out of Texas and then shipped them to Pennsylvania where all the um, body panels were then sorted by me as a youth. Um, so I had to learn what these trucks were by just looking at a door. You know what I mean? It took me a while, but my uncle encouraged me. He's like, if you want to be an artist, you got to see the details. So, uh, you know, as I was picking fenders off the semi and restacking them in, in the shops out there, uh, trucks, yeah, really became a part of my life. So, um, how, how did your uncle say that same thing? If you wanted to be an artist, you had to figure detail? I had to find the details. Dude, that's an awesome statement. That, yeah. that's that's super cool yes because i wasn't able to like settle in and find the details so he showed me a detail i'll always remember he's like all right so when you're looking at a suburban versus looking at a tahoe there's a dog leg in the door so if you just look in that b bottom back rear door you'll know immediately if you're looking at a, a bourbon or a uh, tahoe and uh so it was that first moment where he gave me the Show, what is I need to be showed what the detail was and then I could expand on it. So uh, I would move doors by the hundreds, by the hundreds. Um, so the worst is when a door was full of glass, uh, it became a very heavy door. Oh, yeah. But the doors that came stripped and it was just a sheet metal door. Uh, yeah, so I grew up with trucks, love them, love them, love them so much. Um, God, I remember my uncle, the, this best knowledge he ever gave me. Don't shake my beer when you bring it to me. <laughs> That's I remember that. That was that was pretty. You know. Oh, oh, that one just wants to keep going. She's like, I'm I'm ready to go. Yeah. All right. We're about. Oh my goodness. Holy, holy. Wow. Good catch, Dad. Yeah. No kidding. It'd blow a hammy there. You guys. I've that gotten day. I've gotten really hurt by getting hit by a power wheel, and I'm talking. It lasted like a year. It was right in the side of my ankle. Rowdy got me good. I was like, oh, right into the bone. I was like, oh my. That's a lot of punch behind a power wheel. Why you got to be like that, son? <laughs> I was like, oh, I want to immediately fight him, you know, and it's like it gets hit that hard. You're like, ow, oh, my goodness. <laughs> did you tell him I'd rather you shake my beer than hit me with your power wheel? <laughs> <laughs> he did. I remember when he went through that phase. <laughs> uh, so you guys, what we were laughing at, you see these guys, see the families loading up there, lining up these power wheels. All of a sudden, there's a, hand, a couple of them. They're like, no, we don't want to stop here. Let's go. Let's hit the jump. And uh, the one official reached around and uh, horse collared one of those things. Yeah, that would have been 15 yards definitely in the NFL. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, you can't hit in the NFL anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't know you if you guys heard it's going to flag flag NFL next year. And baseball is going to have more contact than the NFL will here pretty soon. Mm. I don't know anything about it. Yeah. Demotion Derby is my sport. That's exactly and Today, it. it's tough trucks. I was going to say. I was going to say today it's mud four-wheel drive, high-flying, screaming action over these obstacles. Yeah. It's going to be trip. Yeah, my buddy Leach has already transitioned. He got himself a tough truck. From last year, uh, you know, 
So there's a there's a transition here where you can transition and have a, a tough truck too. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with having multiple cool things, right? Yeah. I mean, you got a trailer. Yeah, exactly. It don't matter what you're trailering. So right now, this is all the pep talks. This is like uh, the AMA Supercross right here where, where, you know, they're grabbing helmets and stuff like that, shaking the kids' heads up just a little bit, getting them ready to go, get them all jacked up, waiting all for right, the gate to see. drop. All right. Tough oh, trucks. Oh, yeah. We are ready here in Yuba City, Northern California. The second part of California. That's right. Spring Extreme. Look at all calm and cool and collect some of those kids are. They're just ready. They got nothing but a game face on. They're ready to do it. They are, and I'm already nervous for the dads. Yeah. Because like, <laughs> I hope they stay on the track. Right. <laughs> stay on the track, kids. If they go after that mud over there, that'd be awesome. Wait a second. Oh, okay. I think we're bringing in the American flags on the trucks and to do the national anthem. No one's standing yet, so I'm, I'm waiting for my cue. There you go, Sequoia's on it, he's got them. Hurricane Katrina X-63. Nice. This is the truck. 700 horses. This is the one uh, where they were saying it needed to be 10 and a half feet wide. Or this truck's 10 and a half feet wide, yep. but the uh, pit needed to be 12. Yep, they said 12 feet for the pit. God, that thing's cool. Yeah. That's I cool. think he changed all the tires. I think he had yeah. different tires last year. See how they're cut out? The yeah. wheels have the name cut out in the wheels. The details. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, Ooh, that old square box Chevy sounds yeah, pretty nice, too. Yeah, it did not nice sound too. so good. Yeah. Oh. All right. Here we go, National Anthem, you guys.
Oh, yes, that is it. You guys, right it is unbelievable why they make us block that out at times, that you cannot hear that national anthem at home. But you know what? To every men and woman, future, present, uh, thank you so much to all of our veterans that give us that great opportunity to stand, not kneel, not sit, but stand. Remove your headwear, put your yes. hand over your heart, and yes. give thank you I to love the it. flag. Thank oh. you, veterans. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. I like the uh, the guy holding the flag in the truck was proud. Yes. Oh, giving it up with the cowboy yeah. hat. Come I, on, I, give I it up. I was going to say, yeah, the cowboy hat, he had everything, and everything was right, right there. So thank you. Thank you for our choices of freedom to do kick-butt awesome things and enjoy yes. this country we live in. So cool. So cool. Look at that suspension underneath that truck. Oh, great big monster coilovers and oh yeah. Yeah, the header's just hanging out there. So loud. So cool. That Is there even a real frame under that thing at all? No, nope. it's all tubular. It's all, all monster truck style stuff. That's what, John over Mandrel. Pipe. Oh, yeah. Yep, D-O-M. It's all structural. Incredible. I have this I have this wild hair on my butt. I want a chassis built like that, and I have uh, I have an old Willie's truck at my house. I want to make it like a Pro 2 race chassis that's street legal, that like you could do like 100 miles an hour down the highway and then just jump off and go All jump right, a ditch, you yeah. know? Yeah. All right, we're ready for some power wheels. Five, four, three, two, one, go power wheels. Go power wheels. Oh, yeah. Oh, the little buggy's fast as heck. Oh, Taking yeah. the lead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got a traffic jam. There All it right, is. Yeah. Now it's a fight between the Ford tractor and the John Deere. Uh, whoa, watch your ankle. Arriba. Ankle, ankle jump. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. That looked fun. I want to do it next. Levi's in second place. All right, good job, Levi. Yeah. You got second. Right in third place. Give a round of applause. Oh, the little Levi in second place, he's bummed out driving the John Deere tractor. He doesn't like second place, I guess. Right, nope. So he's got competition. Get the trucks out. Get ready. The power wheels out first. <laughs> we'll move these trucks. Thank you guys for presenting our American flags tonight. Oh, look. Look. They do uh, hold full-size people. Yeah. Looks like the young gal that was driving and she was hanging onto her wrist. Looks like she might have got hurt a little bit. Aw. That's fun. That's really cool. Good job. Where'd you go, kids? Yep. Uh-huh. So uh, I'm not sure what we're going to see first. I don't know if we're going to see Mud Bog or the Obstacle Course. Well, last year, remember they ran the Mud Bog? I think they ran the Mud Bog first, and they gave it a shot to see how it was going to work, you know? Um, and that was that was kind of the start of it last year was they ran that Mud Bog. So... Yeah, because I think they do two sessions of timed mud bug oh there it is you hear it oh yeah oh, okay if you can hear that at home that's 700 beautiful horses just crawling in that fabricated truck 
so cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, listen to that. Um, my buddy Kai would love to see the blue truck in his driveway. Oh, I'd love to see that blue truck in my driveway. Love those square bodies. That's a little Scottsdale. Oh, yeah. When you had something back in the day when you had that truck, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that's, yep. that, was, that was the truck to have. You know, you had your 35-inch tires on it. You had, like, lights on in the dash that you made. Oh, you yeah. Know, the old, on your own switches. Yep, yep. The old kissing lights, man. Yeah, the that's it. lights. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're up yep. in the dash. Oh, uh, yeah. You were somebody when, man, back when I was in high school, you were somebody when you had, uh, you know, CD <laughs> players just came out at that time. If you had a CD player and uh, mood lights, oh, yeah, you were you, you were the straight pimping. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, we loved it. We would cruise our trucks at night. Trucks was my thing, man. I had regular cab short bed. That was my jam. Always loved that little lower truck. Always, always. Uh, I always got my trucks from Texas, and that was always the truck I could get from oh. Texas. You know, that was the one. Uh, so I had uh, I had a '76 Chevy Blazer on 44s. Whoa! That was that was my fun one. One of my best friends, still a great friend of mine, a life, Mikey Moore. He had a Canary Yellow uh, square box Chevy, and then I had uh, I had my my Blazer, and and uh, we had we had tons of fun. He had. Uh, uh, I, I I had super swampers. I think he had boggers, if I remember. Where and did your cap unhook on your blazer? Mine was a hat. Mine was a three quarter. It wasn't the full. It was two years too new. Yep. I would I would I would give a specific part of my body right now to have a full cab remove. You know, what are those seventy four and or 70, 73, 74 and older? Um, that's those things are those are sexy vehicles. We always had one in our junkyard, and I just was always wanted it. You know, I mean, I I knew what it could do. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I ended up getting the '79 Bronco and taking the top off. Um, you know, I see an '80 like five Bronco out there with the top off. You know. Yep. Yep. Well, you know, and it's <laughs> it's funny, you know, because it's like you know you sit there. So like I always had. I had a fun vehicle, and then I always had my piece of crap that I drove. I had escorts. Escorts were my pieces of junk, yeah. and I would just run them. And I, my, my escorts, I had, I had a killer system, and I had 10 tens. That was, that was, I mean, it was a two-person vehicle because the whole back was a box full of 10 tens, and and uh, <laughs> we used to, we used to thump it hard. And that was, uh, but my, my, my Blazer was, I love that truck, and I got in so much trouble with it. It's like, okay, that's got to go. So the next truck I went to, I went on the ground, a V8 and S10. So let's go from one extreme to the other. And the S10, I got in a ton of trouble with that too. So I had zero ability to keep my license in good shape as a child. <laughs> I know that's for, for a fact. Uh, we had... I know when I finished basic training, my first truck I bought was a 79 Ford F-150 with a 306 owner in it, standard. Um, love that truck. Saved all my money out of basic training just to uh, buy that truck so I could drive around base. And uh, it was white with a red interior. I thought that thing was super fun. And uh, so to see people have the same love out here for trucks that we do, uh, it's going to be a fun day here on Track Shot Live. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And, you know, this is a really fun thing about it because, you know, it's like we're not, you know, Track Shot Live, I mean, it's the, the, the entertainment level of the trucks, the derbies, the whatever we're doing is just the bonus of it because the true work of it all is is all the great sponsors and the promoters that are allowing us to be here to do this. I mean, it's, it's their dollar that's paying us to be here to help us get this thing out here so you guys can take a look at it and see it. I mean, that is the ultimate with it. So, um, you know, please, you guys, when you see our sponsors at the side of the, the like Tony's Welding right there, you know, you know, shoot them out a text message, whatever, on Facebook. Say, hey, thanks, we've seen you on Track Shot Live. Thanks for your support. All the bottom reeled sponsors right there, those are all the great local sponsors that came to Blaine Williams and said, hey, we want to be part of this, we want to assist and, uh, you know, get the best show that we absolutely possibly can. That water is so close to hitting us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got a special guest coming in here. 
And uh, this is, uh, we're going to be getting ready here to go, but we want to take just a few minutes and talk. So uh, um, who do we got sitting down with us now? Uh, Kyle Wilson. I'm Caitlin Wilson's dad. All right. So Caitlin is the one. She's sitting over there. She said, hey. you know, there she is. Come, Come on, on in Caitlin. and wave, girl. Wave, girl. Give us some love. You yeah. Know? Um, so uh, Kyle's, Kyle, he's, he's a lot more uh, secure than his daughter was yesterday because his leg's not shaking like she was. So, um, <laughs> so Kyle, tell us, you did not run with her yesterday. Somebody else did. No, we had a buddy that wasn't able to get his car out here for the two-man event, and uh, we figured we'd let him drive with her, get her a little more experience with a different co-pilot. Yeah. Um, you know, so that we heard she told us the whole story about going to a GM uh, Metro Caddy and everything like that. Uh, you know, comparison to your Ford last year, she drove the thing great. Um, the, the, the rear end of that car, she took that one hit on the back, and uh, we, when she pulled away, we were all nervous because we couldn't see it. We wanted to see if it was right. going up or down because that's always a GM thing, yep. and it was up. What yeah, did you no, feel like when that happened? It it rolled perfect. It, you know, packed right in, blow the window. So I, I think it worked a lot well. Yeah, it looked really good out there. Um, I was nervous, but it, the driving is so good. How do you how do you how do you express those driving skills? Like, how do you do that? I don't know. It's one of those things where, yeah, you know, I think with the kids growing up in this sport, they're better drivers than a lot of the people that are out there on the road right now. And just the things that the, she's learned from last year until now, just doing those couple derbies, you know, twice here and then up in Pennsylvania, yeah, her, her skill level has gone up a lot just from the experience. Well, it you shows. know, talk, talking about Pennsylvania, I mean, uh, tell us a little bit about that trip, man. I mean, that, that's, that's huge. Yeah, yeah, that was quite an undertaking. Uh, it's a completely different rule set for us out there. So, you know, we were kind of building in the dark. Uh, you know, we, we met a lot of good people online um, that were giving us a lot of help. Uh, Darren Quarter helped out a lot out in Pennsylvania. He gave us some tips and set up a big tent for us while we were out there. So we were out of the wind and the and the elements. Um, nice. You know, it, it's just a like I said, a different build altogether, and uh, you know, a lot harder car than here because you know these are you know just a chain and bang basically. Um, yeah, but it was a great experience. Long drive. You know, we, yeah. we had some last-minute transmission trouble, so we left about 12 hours late. I mean, we oh, got man. halfway there. We're like, screw it, and might as well drive the whole way. So, yeah, it ended up being 44 hours straight. Luckily, we had three drivers between me, my wife, and my brother, Cameron. That's, wow. So th that was a, it truly was a family affair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, the, whole, the truck wow. was packed. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. So, I mean, here's the question. She won last night. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was almost hoping that she didn't, so we didn't have to drive back out there. But uh, yeah, no. Frankie puts on a good show out there with for the kids, and uh, I think it's a great, a great thing for them to look forward to doing. So we'll we'll head back out again. Oh yeah. Yep. Well, I what we said in TSL that we were going to help out again. Is it should we do another two hundred bucks this year to help that out? And be part of the support. Every little bit goes a long way. So there it is. Thank TSL you guys. is supporting right Thank there. Thank you very much. Oh, absolutely. Caitlin, congratulations yes. again. And Kyle, uh, you. What is your wife's name? Leanne. Leanne. I. I. I couldn't. I'm. I'm. I apologize. I'm so bad at names. That's I always right. say that. But you know what, you guys, we cannot thank you enough for allowing your daughter to do it. Be part of it, and just. Uh, it's just. Um, it, I mean, it's the future of this sport. Right. And yeah. without those great kids, we got nothing to come look forward to. Absolutely. I, I think it's going to be to the betterment of the sport, and it's it's to their betterment too, you know. The mm -hmm. kids are learning all kinds of skills, working on cars. and Most people have a hard time enough pumping their gas right now, you know. <laughs> Not just the price tag. They just can't get it in there. Well, I'm really happy that you sat down and didn't punch me in the mouth right away for picking on your daughter yesterday. Nah, but she deserves you know, it. <laughs> when she wouldn't interview, it's a, it, the story is so cute. Last year, I wanted to interview her and go live, yeah. and you you were trying to coax her into talk to me and everything like that. She wanted nothing to do with me, you know. Yep. And uh, so I had to I had to do that and and, and uh, you know kind of kind of pick on her and heckle her a little bit and everything like that. She got up here. She did a great job. And uh, to you and your wife, congratulations on raising such such a uh, proper mannered children yeah, we're mean, trying thank you it's, yeah it's great well thank you guys for helping bring her out of her shell a little bit <laughs> well uh, i'm excited that you're going to make the drive to pennsylvania go out there and see uh hardcore frankie guy yeah, hopefully we yeah. can leave on time again this year uh, yeah well 
it's one of those things that you know you got something great to look forward for the you know for a long uh, this this extended season and everything like that you got time to look for a car yeah you know it doesn't look like you guys got anything hurt on the car the throttle stuck wide open but you know that that was just uh mother tin getting into it it wasn't Pretty nothing much, major yeah. so uh you know like your your your, your driveline the powertrain is looking good it's yep. uh you know it shows that it's got it in it to take a w so um you know best of luck to you guys and everything and thank you so much for being a huge part of this and yeah, no uh, and you got to keep us posted you know, keep us sending us pictures as it goes on through the season of the build because we want to keep everybody out there in the track shot world totally posted and Absolutely. let's see what Caitlin's doing coming from here again because back to back years, let's cheer her on for a feature and let's get her out there and have fun. Perfect, yeah. sounds good. Yeah, is that uh, you got a chance to make a big shout out to all the people that helped and, and everything like that? Let's let's let everybody know oh, who sure. the great we got people were. Too big of a list to even start. You know, everyone that uh, helped out on building their cars and sending money, and getting us out there. You know, last time and, and in the future, I'm sure everybody's gonna help out again. You know, you guys know who you are. Thank you guys from the dark bottom of our hearts. There it is, you guys. Thank Super you. awesome, right there. You guys keep us posted all the season goes, and uh, once again, congratulations. Thanks, man. Uh, thanks, thanks for being part of Track Shot Live. With us no Thank problem. You. all Thank right you take gentlemen. care man all right uh, you guys beautiful. we got tough trucks right there that's uh that's how cool this sport is right there yeah. family family is truth you know we got a march your dad did way better than you <laughs> so yeah well, we got the uh the s10 last night that got third place or yeah. is it second? Third place. Third uh, place. Come Third place. out here to be the first competitor in the tough truck. So this is exactly what Blaine Williams was really hoping. Uh, and our very first competitor is what he was really hoping for was to be able to cross these two um, groups of people who love motorsports. Yeah. Yuba City's ready. Let's the send this wild. They down. got a good crowd behind us. Everybody is ready. And the first one to come out of the door. Remember, he's told us he showed us a zip tie broke and he lost his ignition. Right, That's go. it. Down. Here we go in five, five, four, three, one. one. Let's go. Uh-oh. Michael Tix. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. What? <laughs> Not only can it derby, but it can jump. Oh, no. She's squealy. Uh, high centered. High, over. high centered over that. Bump. What? Ooh, nice hard hit on the top there. And we got fire again. And he gets it ready again. He is on a timer. Oh, oh no! What's gonna do here? Oh, something's locked up. That thing is hard. That front I calipers. Don't know if I'm about this, the high center or the, the washboard. <laughs> nice. I love it. It's freed oh, up now. It freed up. No. Nope. Nope. You're right. Mr. Anderson takes the title. Oh, Mike. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a double jump. And his time is at 58.132. 58 Throttle stuck in that thing. Nice. That's what it looks like so much fun. Is is that proof that you can multiple use your vehicles right here at Yuba? Uh, well, and he went out in the most wanted plus class. So he got two runs out of that truck last night. Yeah. And yeah. a run today. That's right. I forgot about that. Uh-huh. So uh, I'm telling you, you got whatever he spent, what do you say, 200 bucks? He got every $200 out of that truck this weekend. What fun. No doubt about it. I wonder if that frame buckled or if the box come loose on it. Probably the zip tie again. <laughs> Not the zip tie. Uh, All right, here we are, Ranger, no front bumper. Three, two, one. All right, Stephanie Rigsby. Yep, Stephanie Rigsby running this one. Nice. I like the tire on the back. Good strategy. Couple spare tires. Oh, it's the cone. 
That's a penalty. You can't hit the cones. No. Nope. Look at the exhaust coming up behind the back of the cab. Making good time so far. Oh, no, I thought she killed. That did get sharp turn to hit the washboard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what a wild ride. Well, I was leaking water already. This is Mark's hiding the better racing. And she's starting to come up to the finish line there. A uh, 46.685. 46.685 for Stephanie Ridsby. 46. 46. 46.5. That's a good one. Hey, hand me that pen down on the ground. Oh, yeah. I saved it last night right there in the dirt for you. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Right. It's also where I kept our water. Which is always a good thing. All right. Here comes the Looney Hoons. Yeah. You know what crowd this loves one is? Them. This one's yours, Sour. I'm looking. Something what? skunk, I think. Uh, 47. All right, we're off and running. No countdown. We're going to get this show going. 47. 47. Just a jaskier. Penelope the Pussycat from Rough and Ready. Sponsor Sierra Motorsports, Moody Accents, Welded Up, LLC. Special thanks to Miranda Rivers for the tow. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this, this is Jessica. This is. Jessica. She's driving. Was that a Toyota? Isn't it Rav Four? <laughs> is it? It's a sport. Whatever it is. Don't be the pussy cat. From Rough and Ready. She's sponsored by Sierra Motorsports. Moody Essence. Oh, here Welcome we go. go. And a special thanks to Miranda River. Ah, the save some for tomorrow. Forty-eight point nine five six. Forty-eight point nine five six. That's pretty close to what what it was on the last one. Yeah, a couple seconds more. Yeah, Just thank you to Looney next. Hoons for making us uh, cards to be able to read their. Moody Jr. Number forty-nine. All right, number forty-nine coming up. Greg Moody Jr. He is the Wiley Coyote from Rough and Rowdy. R rough and ready. The Wiley Welded up, LLC. Do drop in. Well, Special well, thanks ready. to Colt for the opportunity to do this. Uh, Looney Hoons Racing. Oh, whoa. What? <laughs> what? Oh, my God. I got scared. What? Look at that. That was crazy. Whoa. He's blown over. Got a cone. <laughs> They're doing it. What? Looks so cool with the chrome wheels, man. Yeah. Boy, that rhythm section is serious in there. That's bouncing the living crap out of those guys. Yeah, here we go. Coming around for the flyaway. Oh. <laughs> nice. 40.224. 40.224. That's the best time right there so far yeah, from Greg Yeah, but uh, there was a couple cones knocked over. Oh, yeah, that's right, penalties. So I don't know if it was already adjusted for us. And or this is Julius Marchi in the number S10. He is racing for a hand in marriage on this guy. He has to get the fastest time or all right. he doesn't get married. This guy has to that's win it all or he can't get married. Whoa. 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Did you see that? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> so that was that gentleman. That's a derby truck also, remember? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I bet. He lost the motor, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever part that was looks important. Now we're going to get out there and get him towed in. All right, here comes replay. Bill right on top of it. Look at that. 
I, I'll take the hits in the derby car before that. My goodness. <laughs> All right. All right, this is the one I painted with Sylvester. All right, this is number 45, Colt Keeney, the Roadrunner, but also, what did I paint on here? Uh, the mouse. Yeah. Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy Gonzalez. So we space painted Speedy Gonzalez. Where is it? I'm Speedy Gonzalez, the fastest mouse in all of Mexico. Here we go. Arriba! Yeah, truck shot live. Kokini Roadrunner, Nevada City. That's where he's from. Gold Vibe. Kombuchery. Moody Accents welded up LLC. Sending it right here for the fans. Whoa! They have vehicles specific for this effort, don't they? Sean well, Miller. He's taking the best time so far, 38. This is the number 13. This should be Miranda Rivers. Oh, they wrote Sean Miller. I got Miranda Rivers on this page. Okay. Miranda Rivers from Colfax. Moody Accents go by Cumbertry. Special thanks, Miranda. Coming in hot. Oh, that nosedive on that jump. It really just kicks the back tires right up. It does. Oh! Uh-oh, what'd she break? And sounds like it was Bro. running fine, but... Can't find gear. Oh. oh, bummer. Oh, she got it! It cost her a little bit of time there for stalling out, but right now we're just stalling. I've just been going here. Time is one minute, 0.528. All right, coming up is the Freedom with the mullet. All right, James Griffin's up next, 0-4. He calls it the Jam Jam. I call it the Jam Jam Truckster. Off and running. Boy, it almost sounds like one of those electric cars. Squirted some stuff down in the back there. Looks like he dropped something. <laughs> oh. oh, that's going to hurt that front end. Oh, it makes it up over the little <laughs> dip there. Pinpoint turning. Alice. <laughs> 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 Nice. There it is, Jam Jam throwing it up, TSL style. That would be the second best time. The time to beat is a 38.341. Dude, nice paint job. <laughs> the mullet, Robbie's freedom mullet. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it, Robbie. Yeah, freedom. And we should have one more. Is that it for this class? And we got one more, another Ranger. With attack on the dash. No front bumper. All right, so we're going to move up to our modified class. Oh, this is modified class. Because it looked like they got a bit of a cage in there. Yeah. something on the back. 
This is John Singleton in the number 69. John Singleton, number 69. Right, in the modified class. Oh, yeah. Look at all that suspension. That one's working pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Look at where the suspension is, it's right behind the cap. Yep. They got a four link in it. Yeah, they move the shock all the way up there. Great instead big, of on the big axle. Long travel. Trying to restart it. And we're running. Off and moving. Gonna make that sharp turn. Oh, oh, you can just hear that. I know I caught the washboard. That's a bouncing. Stall it out again. Just as he's coming around that tire for the finish line. Here we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. And up next. Look at this Ranger with fender flares. Yeah. Bobby Hughes Jr. Bobby Hughes Jr. Oh, nice replay, Bill. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah, way to, to follow the truck, go. Sequoia. And we're gone. There we go. Oh, Bobby's doing good through the first yeah, section. Yeah, Good job, Bobby. Sending that Ford. I like that God. Ford flag. Look at, yeah, look at that suspension in the front yeah. end of that thing. That, that is nice. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Oh, he broke an axle. Oh, he broke an axle. Oh. Wow. Bomber. That's a tough one. No doubt about it. He was really moving. And that truck looked really clean. That, you know what I mean? That truck looked like it was dialed in on that suspension. Did you see that front suspension working through both sections over yeah, there? Yeah, it was nice. It was so clean. Now, the other thing that you noticed, did you see as he jumped how level that thing stayed? Yeah. But you heard the pop when he hit the very first uh, washboard there, yeah. obstacle. Yeah, you heard it go, bam. Yep. You don't hear that in the derby cars because the exhaust is too loud. <laughs> yeah, that was a bummer. That th that truck was cool, Bobby. Bobby Hughes Jr. That thing, uh, that that thing really looked like it was put together, ready to. Yeah, ready it's to do a it. good looking truck. I bet you it looks cool in his yard. Yeah. Well, you know, what I mean, setting it there, getting it ready for the weekend. You know, neighbors are probably like, ah, I'd like to have one of those. I'd like to have one of those. That in looks hot, like fun. And the hot chick down the road wants to be like, I want to be part of that party. Yeah, definitely. Painted black, good looking truck. Thank you so kindly, Bobby Hughes Jr., for putting on one hell of a great show for us right there. Uh huh. Salute, heavy handyman, right there, right on the right on the spot with the chain and the hook up and the tow, making this track so much fun for these tough truck drivers today. What fun! I don't know what this truck is coming up next. It has no front clip at all. I believe that is a Ford Explorer. That is the winner of last year. I'm almost 99% oh, positive. Oh, that was a cool truck last year. That truck was fast. Yeah, because it was painted like Jurassic Park. Yes. Yep. So we got we got to pull tow this off here. Um, that way we clean clear track. We've got Paramount Construction and Masonry Incorporated, dependable handyman services, the heavy handyman division. Also want to thank 
Wonderful. Hey, I love this second day stuff. This is fun. It's unique. It's different. It's not the same old demolition derby. It just gives you a different little pass. Right? And well, I like alternative motorsports. I think that stuff's pretty cool. Um, I can imagine this uh, being played at the oh, local sports bar. You know, oh. watching Track Shot Live one, and then when Track Shot Live is over, watch some tough truck from Track Shot Live. And uh, that's pretty cool. My interest is peaked. Oh, my interest is really peaked. Come on. Do you hear that? Yes. Can you hear that? Did you hear that? I believe this is <laughs> Nate Godwin. All right, coming up next. Or Goodwin. In the Jurassic Park, we got Nate Goodwin. Nate, Nate Goodwin. Yeah, Nate Goodwin. In the Jurassic Park. And I am pretty and positive he was the winner last year. Whoa. Whoa. This is so cool to watch. Nice. That was fast. And that thing's cool. I love I love the uh, white letter tires. Yeah. That is the penalty for hitting those cones. So you did hit a couple cones over there. You couldn't see it on camera. Cliff Usery. Good job, Cliff. That's pretty cool. And they're off and running. Looks like he's got the Ford Bronco there. That's <laughs> on the body shop, so it's primer. Fastest cars wear a primer. Oh, uh, yeah. And the Bronco. No coach lit so far. He's doing good. Got to be sharp. Mr. the cone. Oh, he's got a pop tire. Does he? Oh, maybe not. I think that left front has uh, got a little extra camber. And up next is the number 53. Should be Ryan Wells. Ryan Wells up next in the number 53. And they give him the green flag. He's off and running. Nice. Coming out of the back stretch part. Oh, wow. I think we got a transmission. Nice, makes it through. About hitting the cone. Stalls it. Stalled it out. Oh no, it's right. Oh no. Come on, refire. Come on. And waiting. Well, Ryan, All right, calling, calling for the tow. There it is, recovery system coming on out. Heck yeah. So, Ryan, this song is for you. Oh, heavy handyman out there again, giving a tow. Those uh, Cherokees are what they seem to build. To Cherokees or a Ranger. Or the uh, Looney Hoons, or what they have? Some Suzuki sidekicks side or something. Sidekicks, I think. Geo trackers or sidekicks. Aha! Uh -huh. The excavator stuck in the uh, washboard section. <laughs> Look at the excavator going through it. Those are some hellacious bumps over there. 
All right, it's a five-second penalty for so hitting a cone. Keep it out of the mud pit. And it looks like Earth User Junior. Okay, here comes a ranger. User Junior. And the officials can start it whenever you want to. No need to count down. We're yep. off and running. Here we go. Let's see if Herb can oh. pull a Hercules oh. and do good. So far, he's been in good time. As he enters the back stretch. Oh. Hopefully, he the power break right there. Oh. So he's going to back up a little bit and then hit it. That way he doesn't take that five second penalty. Wow, going wow. through it. Wow. And he goes around the final tire. Heading to the finish line. And we got a 36.38. 36.38. 36.38. Good run. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that suspension of that one took the bumps in the, the rhythm mm -hmm. section amazingly. What is this car? Ryan Mize. What? Whoa. Wow. Wow, what fun is that? Look at that sheet metal bedside. It's a thing. <laughs> it is it's a thing. It's just a thing. We need to get everyone off the rails in the grandstand area, please. Everybody away from the rails, please. In the grandstands, away from the rails, please. Step back away from the box seat rail areas. No one along the chain link fence area, two. Okay, and we're off and running for Ori Harmon. Ori Harmon here running the Jeep Cherokee. Wow. Wow. That one's doing good. Yeah, it is. Look at all that suspension travel. Whoa. Whoa. It's the back stretch, and right now he's at 15 seconds. Oh, nice turn. This yeah. Turn. This the washboard area. And he pushes wow. the tire. He's got 24 seconds. And he's going to the finish line. Yeah. And that is the fastest time so far. Actually, we got a 28 by Nate Goodwin in Jurassic Park. But up next is Dustin. Here we are in a Toyota. Dustin Usury. That don't sound like a Toyota motor. No. You can hear that suspension working. Dusty's making some good time. He's at 15 seconds on the next road here. No contest on that one. Nice try. Yeah, you overspun that he's one, so he just said it's, it's done. He ain't making his time. 
Kimberly Warren. It's a girl thing. It's a girl thing. Come around the corner. Hard left. Woohoo! Oh, she little one caught on the back stretch here, but she's gonna keep going. Come on, it's a girl thing. Go! Oh yeah. As she approaches the final tire. To the start of finish, or the finish line is 36.659 plus five. Sweet. That was a good run. Yeah, that was clean. That and boy, some of these trucks have got some amazing Chris suspension and works in them. Yeah, I'm really just watching and being yeah. like impressed. Like, and look at this. And Oh, another Ford Bronco. Did you see how he slowed down in that one and rhythmed out that second jump there so he didn't nose into it? Yeah. Not on this one. Oh, not, not there. The Holy shoot. Whoa. Oh, she got him. He's going to save us. That's right. If you, if you got one of the extreme shirts, this truck is on the back of it. Wow, nice rhythm wow. section. Good turn. Here we go. Nice. 46.133. 46. .133. 46. Chris, Dewey. Chris Dewey. Took a minute there to find that reverse to get back there on that tire. Oh, here's another one. Dakota Robinson. Uh-huh. With the purple Grand Cherokee. And talk about a Jeep wagon with a trick uh, picture. He ran last night in the most wanted class in the uh, rain, pink, oh. in the purple Ranger with the skulls. That thing's oh, together. I want his rims off it. Oh, got some smoke coming out of it. Oh, yeah, come on. Keep going, Dakota. Come on. <clears throat> Look at when the sun reflects off that purple. That is cool as heck. Yeah, it's like a big sticker. It's like a reflective purple sticker. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, their paint jobs are killer. Like I said, the uh, Ranger last night had little skulls buried yeah, into it. Yeah, everywhere. And they're going to send out the heavy handyman division. Oh, got to move it again. Mmm, it's crawling. But fairly wrong, not going to be able to go anywhere. Probably drop the drive line, or two or three. <laughs> so I get, Dakota gets out and says, man, I knew I should have checked that transmission fluid. <laughs> That's a fun weekend. Wreck the most wanted class. Bring a Grand Cherokee, right. come jump so it. Right. Off. Coming up next. It's going to be Larry McCormick. We got Larry McCormick coming up next. But first, we got to get Heavy Handyman out here to uh, give a tow. Probably confirming that they can uh, scratch the bumper with the. Yeah. Uh, you know, scratch on my chrome. And push him off. Yeah. Uh, Top bait for Dakota Robinson. I really thought that purple tape on the side of that cheap wagon air was going to hold it together, but uh, a little transmission trouble there. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Mudbugs, please line up in your staging area. Outlaw Mudbugs, please line up in your staging area. Oh, Outlaw Mudbugs are next, but we still got a couple more to run the right, obstacle course. Larry McCormick in the Ranger with, All right. with wide flares. Larry McCormick, off and running. That's the smoke coming out, but that's okay. As long as it keeps rolling. Oh, yeah. There's a nice power break coming out. Are we coming stretch. around? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Those are two good, really good jumps. Good timing, he's got 17 seconds so far. 
Oh, going hard through the. Set up for the big jump. Let's go right to the finish line. Yeah. Nice there. Wow, do you notice that the back of that one does not have that big fancy uh, coil over suspension? That's got leaf springs on the back of it, Sour. Wow, it does. That one, that one did some pretty good suspension for being leaf springs. Yeah. I just noticed it. You got a Jeep coming out here again. WFO. That is Herrick Usery. Or no, uh, Lucas, Lucas Forner. Come on, Lucas. Oh! Whoa, that second jump, you get so much air. Oh, coming around good. Yeah. 33 seconds. Okay, up next. Herc Ersery. Excuse me. This is a fancy looking F-150 here. Yeah. And that looks like a modified Ferrari Ranger. Oh yeah, extended cab Ranger. Doesn't sound like my old Ford Ranger, that's for sure. Oh, he rode it! Rode it! Wow! Oh no! What a bummer. God, he was going good. Beautiful truck. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, Bill. Oh, the driver is okay, folks. Driver's okay. Wow, it just rolled right over. Wow. The driver is okay. He's out of there. Now we got some work to do. How, how do you roll it back? Here we go with the replay. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, it just dug and lifted. Almost made it back to the wheels. Yeah, if it wouldn't have been against that dirt berm on that other side, slowing yeah, it down, I think it would have. Yeah, they love it. Crowd loves a good rollover. Okay. That's how I would have did it, too. The chain from the bottom. Yeah. You want to see it again? Yeah, let's see it again. Replay one more time. Replay come there from Strelo Insulation. Here we go. Hard left, oh, oh no, that happened so fast. Yo, oh. Wow. Let's see if it fires up. No headers full of dirt, you know. Yeah, it's the bonus of that. I'm seeing the uh, modified mud pit trucks pulling up in the, behind the uh, behind the announcer's booth there. Boy, a couple of those things, they fire up, and you just feel it thumping in your chest. You feel that, Jason? Mm -hmm. I can feel it across the stadium. I'm like, ho, 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 ho. Arriba! These things are made for giddy up. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Boy, that is a bummer for Herc Eustria. That, uh, that was a beautiful truck right there taking that crash. Well, hopefully he can uh, get back to the pits, repair what's needed to come back out here for the second session. Right.
Well, hopefully you guys are liking what you're seeing at home here. It's uh, totally entertainment right here, sitting here where we're sitting, Jason. This yeah, is, uh, yeah, right. I'm watching him pull this truck off the berm, and uh, I'm thinking, man, this looks like fun. Yeah. Right? I, every, every class of this uh, tough truck looks like fun. Right. You know, right. even from the uh, just from running the uh, stock S10 all the way up to these things that that yeah. that weird uh, thing. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. thing. The thing, that thing, uh, that was cool. Oh, it started. Yeah, he started it. He's running it. Yeah. That's always a good sign when you can drive it off the track. Yeah. After the but the main thing is he's okay. That's all we care about. Oh yeah, we're, so we're waiting for the excavator here to pull off the track. And then I believe we only have one more. One Com more. Derek Com Hannaway is the last one that's rounding up the class here. Derek Hannaway. What's he running there? Is that a All Cherokee right. also? I can't tell. Our next driver up is going to be Derek. Uh, yeah, it's got to be. Look at all the ribs in the roof line. Derek Hannaway, our next the details. driver for our top truck modifieds. Off and running. Yep. Cherokee. Derek Hannaway. Another front stretch, but it's a good run. Ooh, he's got a good, good run uh -huh. going. Coming around there. Coming on the back stretch. Oh, right now, oh. 15 seconds. Nice. Nice. Into the oh. rhythm. Took a chance on that turn and, and got it. Do it again. And now off to the finish line. Get left, you city. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yuba City, Northern California. Spring Extreme, this is beautiful. Well, the announcer's saying there's one more. Uh, I don't see the don't vehicle see on one. deck. I don't, I, there's a name nope, down there's there, someone but I don't in the pits it. saying, nope, not coming. We're waving them off in the pits. Nice. Now we're setting up for right. yeah, mud bogs. Gonna mud bogs. We're going to switch the timers over. Give us a little bit of time, and we're going to... Nice. Outlaw mud bugs are going to be starting first. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. I've been enjoying myself here. Uh, the hospitality in Northern California is nothing but the best. Um, enjoy hanging out with Looney Hoons Racing this morning. And uh, again, if you're on the comments, please, now's when, please jump on in there. Let everyone know where you're, where you're watching from in the comments of Trackshot Live. Yes, please, let us know what you think. That's right. Day two right here. Man, these trucks. There's a Camaro out there. That's be, going to be going through this pit pretty soon. So that Camaro's got great big portal style axles on it. It's a super cool. Remember we looked at that thing last year, Sour, when that thing pulled yeah. in? Yeah. That was a that was a cool, unique, that was awesome looking. Hey, that's awesome. Brian Collins has got the boys watching it again day two. They're seeing something totally different than Demolition Derby, but they're having fun with it. Thank you, you guys. Little B and Q 
Caden from PA. Thank you, you guys. Enjoy this. Tell all your friends that there's something cool out there. It's not just Demolition Derby. It's any motorsport. Get out there and enjoy them. That's it. We're uh, supporting them like we hope they will support us. Right? One Correct. big one big team here trying to grow this together. You know I love stuff like this. Uh, Williams Enterprises, thank you so much, Spring Extreme. So if you just seen, they had to switch over their timers. They bring them over to the other boxes. So now this is all digital timed. I mean, this is serious stuff here. Yeah, here we go, yeah. First one out there is James Mackey. Wow. stock vehicles are going to have a hard time getting through that pit. That one is deep this year. Yeah, it is. Right here is that Camaro. Joshua Johnson. Joshua Johnson. Camaro. Looks like a 68, 69 Camaro. All right, Johnson. Chris Hyman's ready to go. And go. Wow. Yeah. 4.7. Yeah, they need to bring that out. That's Cody Benuus. Cody Benuus. Yes. He was on last year. That's a nasty built truck. That's one yeah. of Blaine's good buddies. That was beautiful. Did you hear him shift into second gear? He just didn't have enough power in second gear. He had to bring it back down into first. That's what I heard. I was like, why is the, I heard the throttle change. And I was, uh, exactly, I was wondering what that was. Yeah, he grabbed second gear and just didn't have enough for it. Had to bring her back down. Hang on. Oh, what is this? Look at this rock buggy coming up here, you guys. We looked at this thing. This thing is sexy. Yeah, it is. Look at them cut boggers on that thing. Those things are just looking. That axle is so enormous. Looks like an implement axle on there, like uh, what they use on the big forklifts. Billy Spain is the name of this gentleman here in the rock we buggy. Get our timer fixed real quick. Probably got a little mud on it. That's the same as there might be a little dust on the bottle. There we go. We're, looks like we're good. There it we're is. We're back. Billy Spain. Ready to go. Wow. Yeah. 2.136. Wow. Wow. 2.136. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Les Miller coming out here. Les Miller is up next. Les, you've got to put in some work. Yeah. This has to be two and a half seconds to uh, get the lead. I gotta tell you, he's gonna have no problem getting to that mud. But Billy Spain with a 3.136. He did the boot scoot Billy through that mud hole. 
I love it. Like these things are just sitting at idle, just begging oh, yeah. to launch. It's like an inside linebacker. Yeah. 5.48. 5.48. Nice run, but it ain't nothing like that 3.3. Holy fuck. Yeah, Jason, that I think that's, thing was fast. That was. You want to sit down? Yeah, come on up. Come on up. We got Katrina coming up here. Yeah, come on up. Hey there, welcome. Hey, nice to be back. Yeah. What's up? Not much. I thought I'd come and hang out with my favorite Jason Sauer and Ticks from Track Shot Live. Yeah, that a girl. That yeah. a girl. Always taking our jobs. Yep. What do, what do, you, what do you want for them brownie points? <laughs> uh, let me drive. Yeah, you can't do it. You can't yeah. do it. I can't let you do that. Dang, worth a shot. Yeah. Uh -huh. You got to hang out up here with us. You know, that's good. what. What do you think so far? Are you having a great time? I am having a blast. I love seeing everybody just out here having fun, having a great time. And what do you think of my Looney Hoons team? They're great. Thank you so much for the note cards. It really helped out with, uh, you know, helping describe to the fans who the drivers are. And uh, the wonderful piece of art. I appreciate that. That was You guys were thinking ahead. <laughs> Gotta make well, it easier. Well organized. I heard plus. It, here we go. Square body blazer. Deep in the hole. Trying to shake it forward. Yes. Oh, that's fun. All right, now where does your group of friends come from? Uh, Grass Valley, California. Grass Valley, California. And uh, you guys are running specifically sidekicks. Or what Mostly. are those? Uh, Geo trackers, yeah. Geo trackers. With their short wheelbases. The one that tried to go through the mud bogs last year. <laughs> wow, look at this truck. Those are some super skinny tractor tires, right? Definitely. He's not getting stuck. You know it's going to be a, a good mud bog when the tires are bigger than the truck. Right. <laughs> yeah. This is great. Yeah, it was fun hanging out and painting Speedy Gonzalez <coughs> for your Wiley e. Coyote. You killed it. That was awesome. Oh, here, here we, we go. go. Yeah! <laughs> wow! Oh. Ow! <laughs> Holy cow. Jason. The front tires didn't even get muddy. Tix was just attacked by some mud. Yeah, a rock. It was like three-quarter inch rock coming at me. Look at that chrome rear end cover. Didn't even get muddy either. Look at that replay. Nice. Good replay, Bill. Bill's right on it every time. He never misses a beat. Oh, look at this piece of machine. What is this thing? This thing is just made for this. Talk about hardcore outlaw. This is hardcore at its finest. Hardcore outlaw mud pit right here. Do you know what his name is? I don't know. I haven't heard his name yet. I'm not sure, honestly, sadly. Nick Martin or Garlington, I don't know. Nick Martin. Nice, hardcore. It Bill's says. right there, got that replay. Nice. I love it. Uh, yeah, so we uh, met with your friends right here, uh, you know, at the barn, at the staging area. Um, they met me first last night yeah. to remind me that we were all coming out here. So we're excited to get our day started, excited to come out back out here to Yuba City and hang out with you. Um, we all got to um, experience your journey. Uh, you had one heck of a journey from the last time we saw yet. you so we got you here. But, you know, this last year has been a bit transformative for you. Yes, but it has been such an amazing journey. Last year with uh, with my jump and with having you guys represented on my uh, on my Jeep, it was awesome. 
Yeah, it, you look so good doing it. You were a crowd favorite. They were screaming for you, you know what I mean? It was so much fun. And plus you helped us out on Track Shot Live. And uh, so uh, what, what was the other show that you were on Track Shot? Um, I came back with you guys at the uh, NorCal Bash in Red Bull. Yeah, there it was. This one is an awesome couple. They're actually, he's expecting his first kid. She's actually pregnant right now. Oh, wow. She's about three, four months along, and it is super exciting. They're expecting their first child together, and they are super excited. That's really wonderful. That truck sounds so good in a parking lot. It's its first time actually competing in a mud bog. It usually just does in the fields. So it'll be interesting to see how it can handle the uh, mud pit. Yeah, well, let, let's go for a full. Bobby let's start Burley. for a full, full That's run. Bobby, Bobby. That truck was all pushing derby cars last night. That's the one that we've seen. Sour. Yep. Yeah, that, that to me, that was some Mike Tick stuff. <laughs> the truck's name is actually Sunflower. Thank you. Sunflower. Thank you. Sunflower. But I was saying thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Why do you get to give thank you right away? Don't you have to earn the thank you? It's called manners. Oh, oh no. It's asking for a thank you is not manners. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I was giving you a thank you. <laughs> I'm killing you a I'm thank you. I'm to see how it's going to do. Oh. Uh, she's not going to put up with that. Bobby's <laughs> All right, Bobby. Let it rip. Bobby Burley. His truck is the one, uh, the black B09 is the one that kept getting stuck last year. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Uh oh. I feel like stuck. Oh. Well, it's, this is this truck's first show, so. Well, I mean, yeah, you don't know. I think the stock trucks, even the light modifieds, are going to have a hard time making it through that pit. But that's why we have a second chance. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no doubt about then it. Then they I, can figure out the tr figure out the pit, figure out where the grooves are, and they can do better next run. That's it, and that's what the beauty of this event is, that uh, you guys get all these tries and uh, to work some things out. So that's really nice, Blaine, and uh, Heavy Handyman here to build this track for you guys to show off for your friends and family. Heavy Handyman is an awesome awesome sponsor. We love all the uh, equipment that they bring down, the uh, the time and the energy that they take to help build the track, to help haul off our cars and the trucks. They have been such a huge help for all of our events. How uh, often do you, sorry, I have so many questions. You're fine. I'm, well, now that you're here, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> they please help me. How often do you have events like this? So is this an every weekend, three times a summer? Um, so me personally, I travel all over Northern California to go to these events and watch them, record them, and uh, they're they're everywhere. It's typically about one or two, maybe closer to two or three a month, depending on where you go. So this specific track has this event and the Extreme Destruction later on in the fall. I believe it's in August. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Blaine and William Enterprises LLC put on another one for the Gridley County Fair, the View County Fair. Nice. So, yeah, because I see that people are building for this, and I just was wondering how often they get to enjoy their builds. So from what I saw last year, a lot of the drivers that are at this event will also go to the Yolo County Fair. They'll go to Gridley, Red Bluff. They'll go all over. So, oh, I got another question. Sure, fine. Uh, do, so... Do they couple these with demolition derbies? Is this something that's awesome coupled together? Actually, no. Blaine is one of the few that will actually run a derby and then a tough truck event and a mud bog. Not a lot of other places do it. Typically, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, the orange blazer starting to wiggle in the middle a little. Come on. Come on. Ah. Ah. He tries to get through. Oh, no. That's what one thing about Blaine is he tries to include all aspects of motorsports, not just derby, but you got the tough trucks, you got the mud box, you got the youth involved. It is awesome. A lot of other places, when they have the West Coast monster trucks and monster jam, they'll let the tough trucks go in there as the intermission piece, but Blaine is one that is really trying to highlight the intensity of the sport and the passion of the sport. And it's, it's very much appreciated by all the drivers. Yeah, uh, and that's what we were trying to explain to Blaine because we know we see him working hard, and uh, I don't know if he was ready to accept some compliments 
but we were like, listen, there's compliments being handed out left and right out here for you. Uh, these drivers, builders in both Derby and Tough Truck uh, really thank him for bringing this. And, uh, you know, uh, coupling with the track shot live, not to toot our stuff, but <clears throat> putting that all together to bring it to the world uh, to show what California is. Because that's what they many people tell us. Let the world know that California has this going on, and it's not all the identity that you know that is uh, L.A. and San Francisco. But this part of California is doing this love of motorsports. They have it in Southern California in the Bakersfield area as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mike and I spent the night there last year. I was surprised. After, after the show last year, I actually was in touch with Chaos Motorsports and Full Arena Promotions. And Full Arena was actually able to fly me out there in October, and it was crazy. They'd never even heard of the Tough Trucks. I guess our mud bogs are very different than what you guys have back east in Minnesota. Yeah, big time, big time. I'd only have ever been to a mud bog in Texas. My aunt uh, runs the radio station there, sales, and uh, so every weekend she has tickets to everything. That's awesome. Um, so Texas mud bog was pretty intense. Now, have you driven in a mud bog? No, never. Would but you I want to drive in a tough truck? Yes. So if I could find you a tough truck, would you would you run the second heat? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? No. Okay, so Jason can't even get out of bed this morning. All right, his oh, no. back is jacked. <laughs> I'm uh, I I was working on my car and I uh, was holding the rear end in the air and I just I tore myself up to the point where my wife had to. Uh, explain to me yoga moves that I was never doing and uh, forced me to lay on the floor and do some yoga moves. But it helps. It really does. It really does. I wanted to be a non-believer, but I was in so much pain. I was willing to accept any and all advice. Okay. And uh, so it was only under great duress do I always... She's like, why do you have to wait till then to give me my credit? Because we're stubborn. <laughs> so I'm giving you the credit now. <laughs> So yeah, Mike Tix caught me laying on the floor, crawling around, doing my yoga this morning. But, trying but did to make you get a video for TikTok? Uh, I didn't, because he, he got up the second I walked in. I wasn't expecting to walk in on my buddy doing that. <laughs> if yeah, I would have yeah. had any clue, I would have been on top of I, it. I, I didn't want to get caught. I was like, all right, but I was like, I hurt so much, I want to just do one more stretch. There's no shame. One more stretch, and I really did. I was like, ah. Oh. I didn't want to embarrass myself just getting out of the car this morning. There so. are worse ways to embarrass yourself. Oh, trust us. We've done way worse for embarrassment. <laughs> oh, yeah, on the road with us. You. Yeah. So what about you, Tix? Would you get in a tough truck for the second run? I ran tough trucks a couple times. Well, I've, uh, I've done it a couple times. Today? I'd do it. I'd do it. I'd get out there and do it. I uh, Yeah, it's uh, my cousin had a tough truck, and, and uh, we've done it a couple times, and I had uh off-road truck and a buggy that we did it a couple times and no it's this is a ton of fun it's a oh, ton of fun we're dragging some parts off the back of this blazer oh that looks like a shock bro looks like a shock whoa here we go here we go in the s10 oh this might go come on Come on! Oh, got it! There yeah! It is. All right! Beautiful. There it is. Nice. Determination. Full Lee throttle. Miller. Full. You know, and he got his elbows into that thing, started steering that thing when it started climbing, but where everybody's getting stuck, there's a little ledge there that they pushed up, so you got to get past that one weasel. It's not as easy as people think. I've talked to people, they think the mud mud bogs, mud drags is just you go straight through. It's not that simple. No, no. You know, you got to try to aim that line. You got to try to, you know, sometimes you got to cross over the line to get out of it. Yeah. Wow. 5.71. That was a much better run this time than the last time for him when he just left it in first gear. Uh, there's a, just a regular old Dodge Ram coming up behind this blazer. Oh, it is. Don't count it out. Yeah. I'm not. I'm just saying it's the smallest tires yet to pull up to the line. How about that? He might know how to drive, though. You never know. I don't know. 
<laughs> Neither so do please I. surprise me. Is that Bear Garlington? Cody right now. Oh, drive it. Nice. nice. Yes. Nice. Cody Banyol. What did I tell you? Wow. I'm talking about this one. Oh, I thought you were talking about that one. No, no, right. Oh, that one. That one. This one that, will be that, interesting. That one got it. That that last blazer got a hell of a good launch, and he stayed on top of that mud. Brock Johnson. Driving the Dodge Ram. All right, Johnson in the Dodge Ram. Brock Johnson. Brock is off the running. I am impressed. Wow. That is incredible. That there has got a hammy. That <laughs> is impressive. Brock Johnson, you just got him. You just impressed Jason Sauer. All right, that was the smallest tires that I mean, I've look seen at the replay. go through. Went straight through it. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't sure what it takes to win this. I thought it was tires. I'm incorrect. It's not the car, it's the driver. Have you never watched Fast and Furious? La Familia. Yep. <laughs> Bill's out here with the drone. Yes. Oh, nice pass. Two point. Dang, he's running faster than the mods. We yeah. got the replay. Bill's on it. Wow, two seconds. Coming up next. All right. Like butter. All right, so yeah, I know nothing about mud bog. That's not the tires. Sometimes it's the tires. Because that one truck is like nine feet tall. Oh, oh here's our here's our blazer with the full removal. The full convertible. Come on, come on. Yes. And they're out. Nice. Look, that's the full convertible, Chase. Yes. What's that, the 73? Yes, it's three or four. I can't remember. The California edition. Big, tall, narrow super swampers on that one. Yeah. That cap looks like a 63. They're getting ready. Lining up. Here we go. Oh, he lost four wheel drive. I heard a little cough there, right yeah. as the entrance. But these things happen. You can't always foresee transmission issues. There he goes. He got it. Oh, nope, kicked out again. What's happening, Mike? He's live. His four-wheel drive's kicking in and out. Could have a broken lockout. Could be a T-case. Could be a lot of things. A lot of these, a lot of these trucks that are made for the mud, they don't even run lockouts, the manual lockouts. They just put a solid puck in there that locks in the front end all the time, and you just use the transfer case to disconnect and, and re-engage. But so, as a driver, if this were you sitting in that truck, what would you be able to do to try to get yourself out of that pit if you were driving? Jump out, hit the dry area, and tell somebody else to do it. I don't want to get dirty. <laughs> that, that's why Jason would be in the passenger seat, right? <laughs> no, yeah, I'd be willing to do that for you, buddy. Yeah, look at that. There's a passenger doing it right now. See? That's what they're for. That's why Jason Sauer right there. Uh, I'd be complaining that why you didn't have a hook on the roof of that truck. <laughs> <laughs> He'd throw the strap out, hook to my steering wheel. He'd be like, this is good enough, right? i run it right around the cab. Just hand it to me. i run it around the cab. You pull it out. I'll hang on to it. <laughs> so you guys have been doing an awful lot with Track Shot Live this past year. Where have you been? What have you been doing? What are some of your favorite areas that you've been to this past year? Well, we are just kind of getting started. <clears throat> this is our third well, show of last the year, season. My uh, we had we ended the shows really well last year. Um, you know, we went like heck really hard. We were at uh, Dead Man. Then we did uh, Gold Rush, and then you know, I ended up at Blizzard Bash. But that was a good, like, good finish. And then we're getting started again this year. And, uh, you know, uh, I love, 
you know, I find each and every destination, uh, I find the uniqueness of each one. But I always have a love for the uh, West Coast. Um, so for me personally, I enjoy getting invited out. I, I like when Track Shot Live, whenever they start choosing who's going where. Um, well, from what I've seen, Track Shot Live is so important. So many drivers, especially here at a small track in the middle of nowhere, California, it means so much to have you guys come out here and film us and put us on a national a national platform to where we could show people that we might not come from much, but we have a lot of passion, we have heart, we can build, we can crash. And oh, it, yeah. means, it means a lot that we can be represented on such a big platform like Track Shot Live. And for you, Jason Sauer, tagging up all of these cars and trucks, it means so much. When you tagged up my Jeep last year, you made that TXL explode on the side. William Enterprises on the back. Yeah. I had kids taking pictures with it for weeks. They'd come up and they'd sit in the seat and they'd take pictures next to the TSL. You made those kids so happy. <laughs> and your it's artwork fun. reaches kids. It's, I'm blessed and lucky. I'm, this whole thing, oh, here we go. Nice. Oh, that sounded sweet. It, I think it's that was fun. Zach Joan neck. It's the promoters who take a chance of us on Track Shot Live. Uh, so being a collaboration is, you know, that's something that I enjoy doing. So collaborating with parents on paint jobs and things like that where everyone feels like they're part of a community. Um, and it really is. Just like um, when you had... Someone come on yesterday and they were talking about how graffiti used to be taboo and now it's truly becoming an art form and people like you are showing Yeah. That. Here we go, 67 Ford. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Jared, Jared Coltman. And now we're going to Here's the replay. Instant replay. Nice. So what has it meant for you as an artist to, what got you started working in graffiti of all things? Well, the spray paint was quick. That's kind of how it started was. Here we go. Jay Mackey in the stock one of the very first ones. James Mackey. Uh-oh. Is he going to make it? Definitely. Definitely. He's got this. You got this. Come on. Keep digging. Look at how he is turning that steering wheel. He's yeah, got yeah. Get it in. to grip. Get it to grip. That's how he's we do the, it. He's on the rev limiter, too. <laughs> Did you see his elbows working that steering wheel trying to dig out? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's us in the wintertime trying so to get the close. front wheel drive out of the parking oh, lot. <laughs> left and right, left and right. Oh, look at Bill with the drone. Cool, Bill. That drone is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, uh, get back to it. I was I was excited to have him on, um, and we could describe what it means to be risk-taking personalities. Uh, this everything we're doing this weekend is risk-taking personalities. Did you go check out his Instagram? Bring it home some SEM. Uh, I haven't yet. I once we got done, I laid face down in the bed, and I'll deal with I'll deal with the internet next week. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> it's. Um, but yeah, the Good Times cars are uh, really well known across the world of Demolition Derby for their artwork. And it's really cool to have them on board and it's fun to be a part of uh, a national scene and you know, be a part of California. Um, being welcomed here in California uh, is very, you guys again, generous. You guys are so generous with your love. We yeah, love no. having both of you guys out here. Just having the whole track shop family out here is awesome. Yeah, we well, Mike and I enjoy ourselves. Mike knows his way around town. He's like a local. Yeah, we're getting we're getting pretty good at the town here, you know. We know how to get the big lots. <laughs> Twice. Uh huh. So what about Fatty Fun Police? You didn't bring him out today? Uh, we caged him up. Oh goodness. His, they wouldn't let him come to California. His rabies shot is expired, so. Yeah. If you guys <laughs> don't know what Fatty Fun Police is, please go check out this channel. To check out some of their shorts. It is hilarious. It is fun. You will definitely enjoy it. And did you subscribe yet? If you're listening to us, why have you not subscribed? It's free ninety nine. Uh, nice. Nice. I tell you what. Did you watch? Uh, did you watch us tagging or, or sour tagging little Max or uh, uh, Dax's uh, 
uh, Power Wheels yesterday. Oh, God, that looks so fun. He looked so, like he was in class. I'll yeah, tell you, so you cute. have to you have to listen to that thing and, and you listen to what he says and how Here he says go. stuff. It was hilarious. Oh. Derek Hannaway. Come on. Come on, Jeep. Come on, Jeep. Come on, Jeep. Oh, he's got the elbows going. He's digging. He's climbing. Oh, he's climbing out. Come on. <coughs> come on. Inches. Come on. Everyone, come oh, so on. Close. You're doing it. This is Edge of Your Scene Entertainment, folks. Yes, come on. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. So come on. There it is. Yes, there it yes. is. Listen to that crowd. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Dick. Cheer it up. Oh, he's got to get the back wheels over that ledge. <laughs> Look at the front wheel just pulling. Oh, the front wheel might pull it. The front wheel might pull it. Oh, he's so he's still going. He's still climbing. There it is. This is it. Yes, this yes. is it. <laughs> wow. He did it. There you go. <laughs> that was. He had the crowd. <laughs> that was a heck of a 19 seconds. And nice. Bill's on that instant replay. Right on there. Good job, Bill. Look at him digging. <laughs> wow. Left, right, left, right, left, right. right. Finally has got a hold of something right there and just pulled it right out. That's beautiful. Here we go again, square body. Already got this trap ready on the dash. <laughs> that would be me. I know I'm getting going to need some help. Precautions. I like it. It's it's shut in the door, nice and tight. <laughs> All right, Elliot, you can go. Come yeah, on, come on. He's itching forward. Come on, come on, old Chevy. Come on, old Chevy. Walk it. Come on. Come on, Chevy. It's still moving. Still climbing. Tix, how yeah. would you get out of this situation? Exactly how he's doing it. You got to have your elbows going. Walk that thing back and forth. Oh, no. they're listening to you. You can do it, girl. She's got this. Yeah, there you go. She can do it. Like you said, back and forth, keep working the elbows. Look at that mud fly. <laughs> yeah. It's just, oh, it is some It's just stuff. filling up the wheel wells. Getting it, getting it, getting it. Oh. <laughs> She's not quitting. Girl does not quit. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> yeah. Throw it out of there. Come on, Taylor. Get it out of there. Rocket, shaking rocket. it, shaking the truck. <laughs> she is trading harder than most of the boys that were out here today. She is not quitting. She's not accepting that truck yet. <laughs> Heavy Eddie yeah. man's coming out. No. That's right. We had to stop. <laughs> Taylor Ellie had a big round of applause. She did break it. She truly made it through because she broke the timer. She did great. She did not give up. And there she is. Just hands over the toe strap like, you've got this. All right. Our next driver coming up will be Brock, Brock Johnson. It is amazing Should for William Enterprises to put on there. events like this because you're and not going to find another mud drag, yeah. tough trucks, derby. You're not going to find another area with this much passion. No. No, you're right. And it's they really do love uh, Blaine for making this track happen for them. So that we can have a nice, fun Sunday out here. They work so hard. You can actually follow them on Facebook and see how hard and how much work, time, and energy they put into completely rebuilding this track this year. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't see it, but Taylor Elliott, she got her strap back. She's pissed. She slammed her door. Oh, she no. wanted she wanted out of that hole. That was congratulations. Nice try, Taylor. She did great. You were a superstar, sweetheart. Great right. job. There's that dodge again. Brock, Brock Johnson again. Oh. Right at the exit of the pit, those last vehicles were tearing up that ledge a little bit. You can see the front end of the trucks hit that. That's a, that's a pretty good ledge sitting there now. Yeah. 
That was a uh, Greg Moody from the Wiley Coyote uh, Tough Truck. Oh yeah. Timothy Jacobs. He's right here in the list. Timmy, Timothy Jacobs, the last one coming to the hole for the stock class. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, come on, steer it. Go, go, go. Yeah. Get it. There it is. Get the song. Yeah. yeah. That right. was power. Yo, Chevy says, I got me some. I love it. I still like Fords better. Yeah, whatever. Don't come for me in the comments section. <laughs> or please do. Share it to somebody else who prefers Fords over Chevy. Let's start a debate. I'm a super duty guy, so you got me already. <laughs> I can't say anything. I own them all, so. Yeah. Oh, you know what was crazy last night? We had plenty of views, but you guys hardly had any likes. Did, did you guys like this video yet? Help support these guys. They come out and support people like me, people like these guys out here on the track. Throw up that thumbs up, shoot a comment, tell us where you're watching from, and subscribe. Free 99. We love it. That's We love it when you fill up the comment section uh, telling us from where you're watching from. And you know I like it when you DM me the uh, when you're watching it from the hot tub or from the side of your RV. Hot tubs? Uh, out so there, they they watch track shot live everywhere. Oh, I yeah. like it when they watch them in exotic places and send me photos. There's people that put the TVs on the side of their RVs out there when they're camping, watch some track shot. Um, but you know, the hot tub's what I'm in. I mean, that's kind of crazy you would say that when I'm at work, I'll be playing it in the background when I'm like cleaning somebody's house or when I'm on a break, I'll be looking at it. When I go home and I'm editing videos for my YouTube. I'll be watching your guys' YouTube trying to be like, I can't be these guys, but I'm going to try. <laughs> well, you do have a uh, YouTube. Tell us what, how everyone can follow you. Hurricane Katrina X63, YouTube.com. Actually, what's awesome, I finally got my monetization today. So Welcome I'm really to excited the game. You got this. Don't begin the mortgage. Yeah. I already I, have a I, mortgage. I, I mean, I, I see my 14 cents a week, and I'm like, I don't think I can really get a mortgage off I this. think my AdSense is three. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, and then they won't send you any money until you get to ten. And I'm like, oh, here we go. But honestly, these guys being out here, please like, subscribe, throw down a bunch of comments. And it, they really do come out. They support me. They support William Enterprises. They support all these small town drivers and the Youth Derby. Actually, um, from the youth derby yesterday, Caitlin Wilson, who won first place in the youth heat. Yes. Did you notice she didn't have a roof sign? I did not notice. Well, Chaos Motorsports was posting a congratulations on their Facebook page, and a company was actually watching your guys' live, saw her comment, and then through the comment section, and then back and forth, tell this person to tell this person. She is actually being donated a, a new roof sign for when she goes to Youth Nationals. Yes. Oh, sweet. And that is the power of Track Shot Live. That's wonderful news. I like that kind of stuff. Heck yeah. That, all right. Um, you uh, have a really popular Instagram and TikTok. My Instagram, I actually did private, but my TikTok, um, my, my main TikTok is at, I think, 29,000 right now. I kind of took some time away from it to focus on YouTube. TikTok is amazing. You can meet so many people out there, but I prefer the, the long format videos and getting to actually show people more of what goes on behind the scenes than just the highlights. So that's why I made the switch over to YouTube, but I do still t do TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, we enjoy your lives. <laughs> uh, you know, you did the TikTok lives. Oh, goodness. My TikTok lives can be all over the place. On my main TikTok, Fallen One Katiara, K I T I A R A. Those are pretty much all derby based, tough trucks, uh, motorsports, autocross. That's pretty much that. And then my other TikTok, Hurricane Katrina X63, that is more of day to day life. And that's pretty much where I was posting a lot of my recovery from when I did take the Big Air Award last year, and that, I still can't believe that happened. You guys, if you want to get into these these extreme motorsports, there is a chance you'll get hurt, but it is so small. You'll come home with maybe feeling a little sore, a couple of bumps and bruises. It is not common you're gonna actually break bones and hurt yourself that bad, but it, the TikTok community was actually super amazing. I was talking about when I was in the hospital, coming home, physical therapy, recovery, 
and there were so many supportive people that were talking about their injuries and their love of motorsports and it was really great to actually meet such a tight community and make so many friends from all across the country. I've got some friends now in Germany and in Canada and uh, the UK that have been really reaching out and supporting. So TikTok has been a wonderful, wonderful place to get that support in that community. Yeah, I could, I could tell from your engagement that, uh, you know, things were going well. So they are. that's pretty and awesome. I, really, I got to hand it out to both these guys and the whole Track Shot Live crew. They... They reached out through uh, text, they reached out through Snapchat, they reached out through TikTok, making sure that I was okay, if I needed something, if I just wanted somebody to talk to. Both these guys were absolutely amazing. And it wasn't just, oh, you were on our live stream. Okay, we'll see you next year. No, they really do care. They were reaching out and making sure everything was good. They're, they are wonderful <coughs> people. It's not just on the live stream, well, it's behind the scenes too. Well, you support us so greatly. And, uh, you know, and we are due to have empathy. And, uh, you know, you can't take our heart away from us no matter what. They're uh, not taking my <laughs> Jeep or that flag away from me, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, so uh, we can feel like you went out there and, like, s sacrificed it all for the, for the show. Not and, the intent, uh, but as long as the crowd, I mean... We had a much bigger crowd yesterday, but think about it. They get out of their houses. They come and they stay in the heat, the rain, the cold, in Minnesota, probably the snow. And they're out here filling these seats so we can put on a show. you got to give them something to watch. you got to get back to the crowd. <laughs> well, 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 there you go. You hit it right smack on the head right there. Um, I mean, this is, this is a performance-based entertainment, you know, uh, event um, and if you can't keep the the crowd happy and entertained they're not going to come back to do it again so you know that's exactly it so your positive attitude about giving everybody a show like that is is perfect and we need we need that to be the the, the general the, the generalization of demolition derby and, and tough trucks and all that stuff all across everywhere i mean you know you're a good voice for the sport yeah i'm gonna tell you right now yeah you're pretty awesome like, you do really well. I'm hitting that. We love having you up here on Track Shot Live. Well, I love the live streams because I can watch you guys when you're in Kentucky, when you're in the Dakotas, when you're all over the place, and I can watch you with your art gallery, follow how that's going in the mm -hmm. opening, and see all the fun you're having with that and all the people that you're, that you're supporting and that are supporting you. But at the same time, we need people that are local in these seats to kind of help cheer us on. It's, it's really sad when you go to some shows and there's not even half the bleachers full, and... They'll tell you, oh, we watched you on the live stream, but it's not the same as, especially the kids, when they see the crowds are full, they can hear the crowd mm, cheering yeah. for those kids. That's what really gets us excited and makes us want to put on a better show. Well, oh, and oh, the cheer is awesome. You know, yeah. the cheer is awesome. And we want Blaine to be successful. So, exactly. Yeah. We want to do exactly uh, what you're thinking. Get the butts in the seats and show people watch. our passion. Oh, and have them cheer for us. Time. No, Blaine is, I've, I've met a lot of promoters over the summer, and Blaine is by far one of the best, takes care of his crew, takes care of his drivers. Weston Patrick is going to be the first one, it looks like. Is that Blaine competing too? I hope so. Send her in the awesome. mud. <laughs> oh, no. Before they go to that mud park, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Weston Patrick up first. He's going to get into position. Now, is that your camera over there swinging Again, with the arm and stuff? No, that old. is a um, friend Jeremy's. That is his camera. He has a crane that's trying to get some good shots. He's got a camera. I'm still working with just my camera and a $10 tripod off Amazon. I am still working on saving up. I do have a GoPro, but I can't really do too much till I get a laptop. But uh, you'll, you'll still see some footage from yesterday. Hurricane Katrina, X63, YouTube. That's it, and you're 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 putting out the content for the people. And that's constantly, good. Constantly, you guys heard it. She's doing it little by little, and she's doing it on her economics. Right. So. Yep, on the micro level, it's still changing the world. Let's yeah. go. Youth class. Come on, Weston. He's trying to handle that steering wheel. He's digging. He's climbing. Got a rocket. Come on. There it goes. Come on. Come on. So close. Just a few more inches and he's going to break the timer. He broke it. Yeah. He got a time. 
Here we go. All right. Wow. The first youth mud bogger right there, Weston Patrick, and he made it all the way out of there. Doesn't even have a driver's license, and he can make it through the pit. Yes. Putting the adults to shame right there. This is Scotty Williams. Look at that replay. He's digging, he's moving, and he yep. climbed right out. All yeah. right, you have Scotty Williams coming in here, the big birthday boy today. He's turning 13 years old. 13? Yeah, Scotty Williams running there. This is Blaine Williams' son. He was also in the uh, youth derby yesterday, too. Yes, he yes. was. Had a little unfortunate luck, got stuck on the tire over there, but uh, gave one hell of a shot. Right. He puts on a good show, and they are such good sports, all of them. Get him ready, and here goes Scotty Williams. Nice run, oh, Scotty. Wow. Heck Amazing yeah. run. <laughs> oh. oh, he's waving. Uh, 13 years old. Happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday, man. What a better way to support or uh, celebrate, uh, celebrate yeah. a, a birthday is right here supporting your dad's show and having fun. That's great. Yeah. I love seeing the kids out here. They have such an unmatchable energy. Well, you know, you think about it. I mean, Blaine Williams and, and uh, Williams Enterprise, they brought these sports for the kids out here. I mean, he fought for the insurance. He fought for the place for them to do this stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, here it is, you know, right here in California, Blaine's dream has is, is become success. So congratulations to that. And I hope nothing but the best for him. I hope him success and to get this spread out and maybe hopefully see some other promoters trying to do the same thing. Fight for their kids. Fight for the future of these sports. Yeah, right. Exactly. That's That's exactly it. You know what talking and, about? And it's amazing that, you know, that's something that he wants to do. You know what I mean? And we got to salute him for wanting to do that, you know? Yeah. For all of us. Yes. Talking uh, talking about youth and everything like that, let's talk a little bit about uh, the, the expo over there in uh, in Ohio. Um, huge, huge congratulations to Mackenzie King. She won the youth stock, the youth compact class over there. Congratulations, and I believe, if Great I remember job, right, I believe that is the first time Mackenzie drove, isn't it, Sauer? Do you know that? I did not know that. I, I think it is. So J.D. King is her father, and, uh, uh, yeah, so Mackenzie King, congratulations on that. And then uh, um, Wyatt, uh, uh, Wyatt, is it Hyatt's or Hayatt's? I think it's Heights. 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 I might be wrong. Heights, um, Heights. He, he, he won the he won the big car class over there. So nice. congratulations to the youth. And then uh, that that raffle car uh, was was uh, won by a young kid out of uh, Southern Illinois. Really? I I don't have his name. That is amazing. That's cool. Yeah. That yeah. is so great to we see that happening. Jeep Jeep Cherokee coming up here. And this one right here is Tyler Patrick running this one, the last of the youth class in the mud dog. Tyler, you can do it. Oh, you can hear some of the kids in the stands. Go, Tyler. Go, Tyler. He's got some fans in the stands, and that is awesome. The other thing here is we got to give a big shout out to. Uh, to, to Joe right. and BJ that uh, Fatty and, and Anthony's buddies at the Expo met some new friends over there. So uh, big yeah. shout out to Joe and BJ, you guys. Thanks for putting up with Anthony and Fatty. Here we go, come on. Better, he's doing better. Yes, he is. Tyler got a little better of a run at it. Nice, nice line. 10 seconds faster than his last run. That is amazing. Nice. Excellent job, you. Wow. Bill's got that replay. Look at that. He didn't hardly get stuck. He did not stop moving forward for one second. Did you see he went over to the right side? He went over to that right side there coming up that hole and got off of that ledge maybe. That helped out. Not as smart <laughs> driving. But he Excuse saw me, what I happened in the first one. He knew how to redirect. He knew how to get out for the second run. Yeah. So we are uh, resetting up for to go back through the obstacles, right? I believe tough trucks are next. I don't. Are we done with the with the mud box? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yep. So round two, how many rounds of tough trucks are there? Uh, two tough trucks, two mud bogs. So they okay. get their first round, and like last year, typically 
one is more to kind of feel out the course and get your speed, and then the second one, this this is going to be the run where you're going to send it, and hopefully no one sends it as bad as I did last year. Uh -huh. Or as great. I mean, depends yeah. how you look at it. May I, uh, may I give a shout out to our absolute horrible teammates on Track Shot Live? Thanks for giving me only half the information, you wads. God, make me look like the idiots out there. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah. Somebody did not what have their Cheerios today. What yeah. happened? <clears throat> well, Anthony gives tells us to give a shout out to some people, and they, I, I go off their information. But it's uh, BJ's the man, and his last man is his last name is Stid, uh, Stidham. So yeah, thanks, Anthony. I, I uh, you Patty know what? There might be somebody like with that dork. name on here watching that is flattered that you know that. Yeah. Well, if you're flattered because these guys throwing me under the bus. Congratulations. <laughs> That's, That's the beauty of being live. You never know what to expect. You can't always predict it, but you got to roll with it anyway. No, no. That's, look at my body. I can roll anywhere, all right? I'm just fine. <laughs> I don't need them helping me to roll anymore. Aw, hey. friends. Skinny, if you're watching, Blaine. if you're watching right now, Skinny, can you please attack those guys socially on, on uh, social media, please? This is not canceled. All right, culture. I'm going to step away here for a minute, you guys. I'll be back. When I go live on that microphone, turn on number four. But yesterday you said that we that, weren't no, doing the job perfect. right. There we go. Remember? Right. Okay, we got to hold it down because we are doing something special. Um, for Scotty's birthday? Yes. Okay. All right, well, good. Hopefully, Scotty's not watching right at this moment. Oh, Scotty's been running around with his friends. He is so excited out there. He And he goes and talks to all the other drivers, he's helping his dad. He is non-stop in those pits. That's awesome. Well, I think they're going to sing a happy birthday to him. Uh, Everybody in the chat, please, please support Scotty. Support William Enterprises. In the chat, just spam. Happy birthday, Scotty. Let's see if we can get this to reach him. That would be an amazing birthday present, a great 13th birthday, to see the comments filled with support for him saying happy birthday. That would be amazing. That's right. Absolutely. What is the next tough truck event for you that is a great question thank you for asking yes they wouldn't let me drive today well i know you're not allowed to drive what oh, we gotta, we gotta switch it oh number four number four turn it up all right uh actually with uh full arena promotions last year they are out of minnesota it was absolutely amazing. They flew me out there and they let me drive in an autocross last October, my first autocross, and it was amazing. That's great. Uh, but are you medically cleared to drive? Or not I allowed feel, to ask you? I feel I am, according to my surgeon, not quite yet. This was our youth driver, Scotty Williams. Got some last night. I'm going to hand my phone over to dad. All right. We got a little something special for him. Is it the keys to a brand new Tesla? Hey, uh, Turn it up a little more. I'm Mike Tix from Track Shot Live. And it's my absolute pleasure to be out here in uh, Here's Northern guy California working. with you guys having fun. Spring Extreme 2024. Williams Enterprise, we can't say thanks enough for giving this great show for everybody to enjoy here and all across the world on Track Shot Live. But you know, one of the best things is, is we're watching the young Williams grow up with great respect, responsibility, and entertainment value. So, the big 13 today, are you, Scotty? Yep. Why are you grinning like that? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Okay. All right, well, this is your great chance right here. You know, uh, you got any young ladies you want to say hello to out there? Oh, all right, so I guess he's going to blush on that one. I still got nothing. <laughs> All right, so at that, how about if I just do the talking for you? Scotty, congratulations on running last night in the youth class. We put on a heck of a show. Thanks for being a great young kid and being a role model for younger kids coming up to do what you're going to do in these great sports. Demolition Derby, mud bogs, tough trucks, all that stuff. Stay off the video games. Keep doing what you're doing. And happy birthday, little brother. A little token from TSL and MWFA. Oh, that's awesome. All right, you guys. I think you brought your singing voices, didn't you? Do it. Do it. That was weak as heck. Are we at a cribbage game or are we at mud trucks and tough trucks? And Let's hear it. Let's make some noise. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think we can sing happy birthday to Scotty from Big 13. Away. 
All right, let's go. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Listen to stand. Yeah, <laughs> many All right, more. so right now, here's a great opportunity. So, Scotty, everybody's got the attention on you. Are you a single man looking for any little women? No. I know, that was, that's a double-ended question. No, you're single, or no, you're not looking for women? <laughs> All right, there it is, you guys. Thank you so much for coming out and enjoying the Spring Stream 2024 Williams Enterprise. Blaine, thank you so much for everything you do. Thank you guys very much, and thank you all for that. They are yeah. such an amazing. Give Scotty another round of applause for his birthday. All right, everybody, that's great. Oh, what a wonderful treat there. Um, Blaine making sure to take a little time out in the show, let his, let his family know that he loves them and, you know, that it's not all just about Blaine Williams and his efforts today, but, you know, that to take a moment to recognize his and son. And everywhere you go, it, it's all about family. You'll see, in, like, especially with uh, Blaine and Scotty, father, son, they work together on the, on the youth class cars, and they're out here with the, uh, with, the tough, with the mud bogs. And you see families all over the pits. You've got moms and dads supporting their kids. You've got brothers that are racing against each other. Even in the derby world, we saw father, son, uncle competing in derby. We yep. saw best friends and cousins competing against each other yep. and at the end of, on the track you want to get that first you want to get that w but off the track you're still family you're going to help each other and it's it's all about support and family out here that's right well you got to have someone to compete against so and in this type of environment you know we're we're asking and begging to bring more people into our sport you know what i mean so <laughs> it's uh whenever someone asks me to uh play paintball i'm like is it because I'm chubby? <laughs> is it because you have no one left to shoot anymore? You're fluffy, not chubby. <laughs> is this why you're asking me? So, no, this is what it is. We want you to think about this at home. If you're thinking, hey, I might be interested in a sport like this, um, how do I go about it? So uh, what most people do, you go to YouTube, and uh, you see how the builds are. And then you kind of go down the rabbit hole, what you think is something – that you want to do. Maybe you're like, listen, I want to build one of them Rangers with a long travel suspension. I'm not going to just skip right over the Geo Tracker. Or you're like, you know what, I want to start with the Geo Tracker or the C or what looks like the Cherokee out here. Right? There's never a never ending amount of different types of vehicles. We've seen so many trucks and Jeeps and cars represented out here today between the tough trucks and the mud bogs. A whole range of different years and types of cars yesterday. Mm -hmm. And there are videos. If you just go onto YouTube and search how to build a derby car, how to build a tough truck, a, a mud bogger, there are instructional videos. They might not work for the vehicle you have, but there are so many step by step. And you are not alone. If I last year, I didn't know my butt from a torque wrench. I yeah. I didn't know what I was doing. I looked up on Google and YouTube and. That's how I built that Jeep last year. And I mm -hmm. didn't even have a shop, no fancy shop, no power tools. I had hand tools and the my jack was the kind that come out of the trunk of cars. Mm -hmm. And I was still able to build it. It's there. There's no and nothing ending you except for yourself. If you want to come out here, just decide you're going to do it. And so many local fairgrounds, actually in Glen County, the Orland Racetrack is reopening for Derby next month for the Glen County Fair. Nice. They That's actually closed it down, and they're reopening it this year for a demolition derby. Nice. So you have always been from this California region? Mostly, yes. Yeah, so you know the ins and outs and what's happening. So it would be wise for someone to maybe try to find you and uh, find out, you know, you might be a hub of, uh, of knowledge of where to go, right? I if you're least, interested. I could at least help someone figure out who they could contact, or if I don't know it, which I probably don't, I'll be honest, but I could get you in touch with somebody who does know how to build or modify what you're looking for. Well, yeah, and you know what's coming up next. So you're like, all right, it takes, how long does it take to build one of these trucks? It, like, it all depends on what you're going for. The stock class, just get it from the auction yard and set it on the track. All right. So, yeah, so you have stuff that you can just drive right here, and then the next thing's going up. Um, just a second, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Please do. 
I mean, so she's off to uh, sign some autographs. Uh, that's what happens when you sit in with the crowd. People are watching. She is a local hero here, <laughs> Katrina. So she sli sli slide off the side. To I we can see her right here signing autographs. That's really cool. Michael Tix, that was really good out there. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> it's funny watching him blush and get embarrassed a Oh, you bit. got him so embarrassed. You got him. <laughs> Happy 13th birthday. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Embarrass him. Get the crowd to sing and everything like that. Oh, the they heck? did a good job. Yeah. No, that is, uh, you guys, that is a true example right there, the family of the Williams right there. It's, I mean, it's here at Scotty's birthday weekend, uh, celebrating his 13th birthday. He's out here derby, and he's, he's mud truck, mud bogging. Um, what a what a killer 13th birthday that is. <laughs> yeah, get to enjoy a derby car and a mud bog truck. Yeah. Um, did you see me I almost bite it in the mud over there? No. Oh my! I, that, that way, I walked when I came back. I walked all the way around the dry side because I was like, "My luck! I'm going to take it to the ground." And it's <laughs> like I would never hear the end of that one. So I, I took the safety route. Nice. No, I, mi I missed you. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that's great though. But you know, thank you. Uh, you know, thank you, Williams family, for letting us be part of the birthday day and everything like that. Um, you know, Jason uh, tagged up that that cup for him. He'll be able to put hot cocoa in it for another seven years or so, uh, eight years. 40 the, ouncer. Yep, 40 ouncer. So uh, he's got eight years until he can really enjoy that uh, thermos. But, uh, you know, hot cocoa will be just fine in it for the time being. That's it. We went to uh, Big Lots here in town, and uh, we got some trophies and made some new trophies. You know, we went to Home Depot, bought ourselves a canvas, so uh, we leave our mark when yeah. we leave this town. Yeah. We try to leave some um, souvenirs. Right, right. Just, just a little bit of post, you know. It's like that's it. Right here, man. Jump in the middle. Here we go. We told Blaine to send us up some talent because we are, uh, we're horrible talent. So we got some true talent coming up here now. All right. Who do we got sitting here with us? Uh, my name is Ryan Mize. Ryan, how are you doing, buddy? Pretty good. How about yourself? Really good, really good. What are you running out there, Ryan? Um, that uh, aluminum creature. It used to be a Ford Ranger, but it's just uh, got some side panels now. All right. That's the one. That's the one, the thing bat, you know? <laughs> the so, thing. Yep. Qu also known as Quagmire. Quagmire. All yeah. right. Well, Ryan, I'm going to tell you what. Quagmire is faster than shit. <laughs> you know? Wow. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 got, I got excited there. I know I'm going to be spoken to for saying that, but that thing, uh, you handle that thing awesome. Yeah, the thing's fast. It's got great suspension. It jumps flat. Um, yeah. When it, it hits the ground, it, it does grabs traction. Well. Yes. Um, you know, how long have you been running that thing? Uh, that truck I bought in uh, 2015. Okay. It was my cousin's. He ran it for about six years before I did. Really? Yep. All so right. It's been around for a long time. All right. That's so cool. what, what made you just cage it and tin it like that? Um, the <laughs> I rolled a few times, and each time I kept losing more and more body panels, so... And then the cab was just falling apart, so uh, I had to do something for safety. You know, yep. it was, there was a lot of sharp edges, and uh, it was not, not a good thing. So I had to do something, and that was the easiest solution. Wow. Yeah, you built, like, some rails for the panels the whole Well, that, that was the original cage, so oh, it, okay. it was pretty easy to just do that. Really? Yeah. What, um, uh, what are you running in there for, uh, for a motor? It's a 351. It is? Yep. Okay, Windsor. all right. I was looking. I didn't see where. It, I was trying to figure out what it was when you were parked over there, and I you couldn't see the distributor coming past. So it was just real quick and fast. So right. I was trying to trying to pick and choose as to what it was. But <laughs> uh, um, you know, now with the, with that truck right there, um, getting the suspension and getting the weight equalized and everything like that. Um, I mean, have you got weight added to that thing to balance it or? Well, I'll tell you, there's a lot of weight in the wrong spots on that truck, but. Um it, it does really well. I mean, I probably should add a little more to the rear, but because it does nosedive a lot. Um, but it depends on the jump as well. So, well, you know, I noticed like the, the jumps on the far side seem to have a kicker on that on the second one. Yeah, um, well, I hit it a little hard. Um, I, I definitely wanted to clear it, um, but it made me hit the last jump a little too hard. And uh, to avoid hitting the cone, I messed the turn up. So, um, hmm. it. You know, you got to pick and choose which jumps you really launch it on. Yeah. Well, and that's exactly it. I mean, you know, uh, if you're in the air, you have zero control. Right. You know, so you know I mean, the, the fastest way around the track is to stay on the ground, but I like the air time, so yep. 
Yeah. I and it, it looks cool. Yeah, yeah, the crowd loves it. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely looks cool. Right What's that? I heard he's first right now. Uh, he is. I believe he is first right now. Awesome. I believe we do have awesome. the high, I, didn't, high time. I didn't know, actually. Yep. I, I thought I heard them say somebody else was faster. No, I, I believe you've got the first. I believe you've got it. So well, That's um, good. So, so when... I didn't hit for Cone. No. No. So, so when you're, so when we're talking about this, we want the, the people out there watching TV that don't understand any of this stuff. You know, uh, when we're talking about balance and the weight and everything like that, um, you know, it's it's uh, so you're setting up the truck with weight so that you've got a position to as as you take your jumps, you can you can level the level the truck out and stuff That's like right. that. So if you run in that truck, I mean, how many times do you run it a year? For I mean, it looks like you're very comfortable in it. Yes, um, I mean, I've been running it for uh, since 2015. Um, and I have played with it and made some changes over the years. Um, but, like, last year, I think we raced 36 days or something like that. Oh, wow. That's yeah. a lot more than there's, I had there's that. There's a lot of shows that are, like, two-day shows, three-day shows. So, okay. um, yeah, uh, we got a, a lot of track time last year, and I'm hoping to do the same thing this year. Wow, that, that, that is a lot more than I, that is a lot more than, than I, I would have thought. I, I was thinking, yeah. you know, maybe, you know, Maybe maybe ten weekends out of the season. So, but yeah. you know, but I, I suppose your guys' season is year round out here. Um, pretty you know? much, yeah. I mean, it starts uh, right about now and um, doesn't end till November. Yeah, geez, that's wow. uh, that's awesome. What? Um, uh, here's a great opportunity. You get a time to give a shout out to all the people that help you out and maybe sponsors or anything like that. Uh, well, I, currently, I, I only have one sponsor, um, Jim Onstott uh, Equipment Repair, and. Um, I do want to give a shout out to my cousin Cherokee. He helped me a lot this over the weekend. Uh, we built that other arranger with the no bed yep. yeah. for my lady. So um, I couldn't have got it all done without him. So uh, thanks to him. Thanks to my uncle Ed for getting me into this. Um, hey, well, and you just said lady. So you got a, you got a him and a her thing going on out here? Uh, yeah. We're, 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 try, we're trying to take both classes. That's stock stock right. and modified. That's awesome. Okay. That's awesome. So your your lady was uh, what was her name? Uh, uh, Stephanie. Stephanie. Okay. I was I was looking on there. Stephanie Rigsby. All right, there. She had a forty six five. She had a good run too. Not bad. So, if she wanted to hit the cone, yeah. it would have been a good few what five seconds, yeah, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. So no, she had yeah she handled it really good. So well, that's awesome. You guys are out here doing this together. So it's yep. uh, so yep. there you we go, got, folks. We got the kids in the pits over there watching. Oh, that's, oh cool. How many kids you got? Two, uh, two, a two-year-old and a well, a three-year-old and a eighteen-month-old. Uh, nice. Yeah. And you guys are running two trucks. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Well, we wow. we ha we do get a little help. Obviously, they're over there right yeah. now while we're getting ready to go. But wow, that's awesome. <clears throat> well, we'll let you get back to your stuff, Ryan. But thank you so much for coming up here and explaining Absolutely. that. Uh, congratulations on having the high number right or the well, low number right now. For for now, you know, right, yep. right. But uh, Ho you know, hopefully, I stay there. Uh, I'll, I'll we'll tell see. you what, you're you're pretty darn good on what you did out there, and uh, it was it was cool watching and trying to figure it out to have you come up here and tell us and and let everybody in track shot world out there see it. Um, that's that's totally awesome. But you know, to to you and your woman and uh, your family, enjoy it and uh, good luck on the season of racing, my thank friend. Thank you, thank hey, you. Congratulations. Thank there you guys you for being here. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Right, it's our you. pleasure. Thanks for making us feel at home. Awesome. There we you go. You guys have a good day and yeah. enjoy the rest yeah, of the show. Yeah, thank you so thank much. You, you also. Yeah, good luck. All right, there you go, you guys. That was uh, that was awesome that Ryan jumped on up here because that gave us a ton of information on that one that we didn't quite know what was what. So, um, you know, typical fast forward right there, you know, 350, one powered. That's yeah, not that serious. We got to, yeah, jump on in. Come on in. Here, I'll do. I'll, tra I'll trade. Actually, I'll put him on because it's his Jeep that they were running. Okay. And we got to give him thanks too. Here you go. Sit down. Because you're the one. You own the Jeep, right? Yeah. Let the kids, yeah. I want you up there for sure, buddy. Go ahead and put those on. There you go. Howdy, howdy. How's it going? How you doing? There you go. All right. Let's do some introductions. Go ahead. Uh, I'm Dylan Patrick. I'm the owner of the '92 Jeep Cherokee. Nice. Who do we got here? Weston Patrick. Weston Patrick. All right. So, how are you feeling today? Uh, a, little, a little salty. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit mad because my little brother beat me. Yeah. What happened there? I don't know. <laughs> right. Yeah. The second or the third pass. Right. Second pass. Yeah. It went really fast. But you really crawled it. You working? Got the elbows moving and stuff. Like, how long you been driving? 
probably about three, four years. Really? Yeah. That's incredible. Now, do you guys get to drive a uh, couple times a year, or is this, you know, how often do you get to do this? Any Anytime that this event is here, as long as my Jeep's up and running, I, you know, I bring him out and get him in. This is his first time, though. Yeah, congratulations. So now, this is his second time. He uh, he actually got second place last year. Awesome. Now, uh, how long, what got you into this? Just something I grew up doing as a little kid, mud bogging everything. Bicy yeah. It started out with bicycles. Yeah. Dirt bikes and mini bikes, go-karts, stuff like that. And then uh, I just I ended up getting my first Jeep Cherokee, dude, and fell in love with it. And, uh, yeah. You know, never really let me down much so it's cool like i yeah it's really like rangers and cherokees you yep. know so you guys have a real identity with what you're driving out there yeah um and uh you know i i always go we usually go out on the weekends we live right here in um all first and they have uh the uh river bottoms grace grace beach area mm -hmm. and i usually just with him i'll go down there to go swimming and stuff and i have to tell him hey Go hop in the Jeep, go have fun, you know? Yeah. Let him take it on his own, you know, learn, and then he'll come walking back, Dad, I'm stuck, or this and that. All right, well, let me go get somebody to pull you out, or, Dad, I broke this. Oh, it's all right, I'll fix it. You know, I got extra parts at home. Yeah? Is that how it goes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? You're uh, on your own out there driving? Yep. Is it a riverbed? Yeah. Well, yeah, it, it, it's a big It's a big area, Gray's Beach. It's a, it's a nice little ATV uh it's got a huge beach, uh, nice swimming spot during the summer, you know. Yeah, that's really interesting. So it wasn't that bad for you to bring it here. You brought it on a car trailer. Or, yeah. Yeah, you don't just drive it here, do you? Uh, the la couple times I have. Really? Yeah, a couple times I had to have someone follow me. It is what it is. Exactly. But that's uh, you guys have a really good community going on in the pits. Oh, absolutely. You know, you guys seem to be. Uh, you everybody have your knows. Everybody knows everybody. It's a small town, dude, out here. Yeah. Yeah. And I and then so tr tough trucks is the thing. You got other kids in school that do tough trucks with you, or are you by yourself in the school? I think, by myself. I think he's the only one that gets out and does this kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, we appreciate that type of stuff here at Track Shot Live. You know, we love uh, alternative motorsports here. We like uh, getting the motors hot and revving and. Taking things to the limits, you know? Yep. You got any sponsors you want to uh, tell us about? No sponsors. I mean, uh, I do got some Frankenstein Motorsports stickers and stuff. You know, I, I'm, I'm really good friends with Adrian. I've known him for quite a while. And then uh, I also got the 530 Recovery sticker. I haven't known Dustin for a while. I remember when uh, he first started his little Facebook stuff, and it blew up. And mm -hmm. uh, it does everything for the communities and stuff like that. So, I mean, I don't know if they're sponsors, but it's just people that I know, you know. Uh, I try to support their businesses, you know, let them mm -hmm. know that, hey, cool. There's uh, there's actually one time, you know, my, my Jeep's not registered or anything, and uh, it was raining, and uh, somebody got stuck on the side of the freeway on the embankment, and, you know, to save her some money, I was like, dude, I'll go grab my Jeep, pull you out, you know. CHP pulled up, and didn't say nothing was like hey you know i, I, was, I was like dude you know she, she's a single mom I'm trying to save her some money you know she's all right i'm just gonna help her get out and get her on her way and he's all all right when that happened across the way somebody went else what else went off the freeway and uh i asked him i was like can i go over he's like that's up to you man i don't care i went over there and so hey, you want me to pull you out or what? He's like, if you can, CHP's like, hey, it's on you, man. All right, I end up, I end up doing two CHP recoveries. Nice. All right, we're ready to get started back here. Tough, uh, tough truck, but all right, again, man. thank you for so much. Yeah, thank you for having us we, up here. We appreciate it. Go ahead and send ticks on over here. Thank you. Good job, man. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. We're getting ready. We're back to the most wanted truck. This S10 is uh, ready to get the timer set up here. Waiting for a green flag. Green flag. Let's go. Oh. Oh. What? That launched. Launched it. Oh, what's going to happen now? Oh! 
Oh, took a cone. Cool. Yeah, come on up. Grab it. Oh, I think he stalled out that big truck. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> All right, well, uh, the number 99 is stalled out here. Oh, no, refired. Getting through the washboards. We're going to hard right. Hey, coming to this finish line. Oh, <laughs> wow. What a weekend in that pickup truck. All right, all right, who do we have with us right now? I'm Les Miller. Les Miller. I'm Jasmine Miller. Jasmine, hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Welcome to uh, Tough Trucks, day two of Spring Extreme. Uh, you guys have one giant truck out there. Uh, we'll let the racer race through here, and then you can tell us about uh, all about your truck and that 700 horsepower. And uh, what is that, a 67? 68. 68. It's a beautiful truck. Right now we're looking at a Ford Ranger that has the exhaust coming up about six feet behind the cab. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty fun. Waiting for the green flag. Waiting. Gonna make a quick adjustment on our timer. Doing good. Heck of a crew. Williams ha has here, yeah? They do, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you guys won it last year. Yeah? Different well, truck, but... Yeah? Took the win, barely. So this year, uh, you got another pull coming up later on this afternoon. One more. I'm going to try something a little different. Yeah? Let's see what it does. Bigger tires, smaller tires? Uh, Same still, size tires. Still got the big tires, yeah. Well, these tires are bigger than the last truck's tires, though. Yeah? Yeah. It's yeah. a tall truck. Uh, I'm not sure what we're waiting on. Oh, we're, I guess we're probably putting fresh batteries in the lasers. <laughs> that would make sense. Yeah. Now, uh, you guys have been running for a while? I've been racing since 99. Uh, 99. So your 25th year here. Not here. <laughs> but in what, Northern California? Central Central California. Yeah. All right, this Ranger is fired up. I can't believe it's that making the noise, is it? That's <laughs> got to be your so. truck running. <laughs> no. Waiting. Oh, wait, we still are messing with the camera. I've only been racing since 2020. So. Yeah, I'm a rookie. Now, uh, do you do you guys race this what a couple times uh, summer or is this 30 times a year? This one's this one's brand new. This is the first race for that truck. Yeah, yeah. But, but this year we've been doing a bog about at once a month. Yeah, which is kind of frequent for bogging. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. That's 12 a year. That keeps you busy. It keeps you in the shop. Oh yeah. Here we go. Stephanie, oh, yes, yeah, Stephanie, made it through the first couple jumps real good. Coming down the back stretch. Oh, 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 you can just feel it, oh, you can just feel it. <laughs> God, I hope they're sitting on pillows. Through the washboard area. Listen to that exhaust. Hard right turn, standing on the gas. Yo, <laughs> that's fun. It's hard to believe them little Rangers hold up so well. Yeah, now here comes the Looney Hoons racing. Jessa Jaskier to Penelope the Pussycat. <laughs> Rough and Ready. Sponsor Sierra Motorsports Moody Accents Welded Up LLC. Special thanks to Miranda Rivers for the tow. Whoa! Wow! That, that second jump will really toss you. 
Uh-oh. 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 I got the windshield wipers on. <laughs> May have broken axle. <laughs> yeah, probably why. CB probably jumped out, maybe. Yeah. So uh, we actually just started doing events ourselves. Yeah. Last year was our first year. Um, it's called Miller Mud Bogs up in kind of right outside the gates of Yosemite. Mm -hmm. So our next event's coming up uh, in really the end of June. Nice. How can they find you? Um, so on, we're, I started a Facebook page, Miller Mud Bogs, Bogs with two Gs. And on there is the flyer for the next event if you um, go onto that page. So I'm not a huge social media buff. I need to work on it. Yeah, it, ha it helps get the promotion out there, you it know. Does. Yeah. Another one of the Looney Hoons coming up. Now sometimes we can pop out of gear, but that's an automatic thing that's in a little bit of trouble. Now I was there. I was privy to the uh, conversation where we had to make sure the pit was 12 foot wide because of your truck. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. yours is ten and a half foot wide. Ten and a half feet wide, yep. How tall? I'm about nine and a half feet. Nine and a half, feet. Nine and a half foot tall. That is a big truck. 68 it Ford. It's a lot of fun. And we've dubbed him Uncle Cracker. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were. Uh, you were on my TikTok earlier this morning when I was rolling through. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Greg Moody Jr., Wiley Coyote from Rough and Rowdy, welded up LLC. Do drop in, coming in hot. Yes. Oh, oh it hurts my heart when that nose is in like that. Special thanks to Cole for the opportunity to do this. Let's go, Greg Moody Jr. from Looney. Hoons Racing. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Here we go. The jump of the weekend. Set up right now. Come on! Yeah! Oh, cool. That thing just looks cool. The chrome wheels. And it's so tiny. Mm -hmm. Here comes another S10. Oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, wow. Thanks, buddy. Here we go with the S10 coming in hot. Whoa, nosedive. Wow. <laughs> oh. He found the gear. Keep it going. Oh. Oh. Keep it going. Keep it going. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Keep it going. Come on. Come on. Refire it up. Fire it up. Oh, oh, oh. I hear it trying. I hear it trying. Come on, S10. <laughs> Look at this. Heavy handy man. I know that guy wants to walk, walk down that aisle. Nice. So uh, you've been just, you just started a promotions company. Yeah, we do it uh, twice a year. End of June and New, uh, New Year's weekend. Okay. Well, once you guys get super big, think, think about Track Shot Live yeah. coming to your event. Yeah. No? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, we'd love to come and showcase everything in your drivers and everything that you got going on. Yeah, no. I think we're expecting this event anywhere from like close to a thousand people. Cool. Yeah. A lot of families come out, very family oriented. We love doing stuff for the kids, with the kids. I'll just take all those. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that's. We'll let Joe nice, thank you. Coming up next is going to be Colt 
Cole Keeney with the Road Runners. I painted the. Uh, what I paint on this? And Cole Keeney's driving the Road Runner. Speedy Gonzalez is who <laughs> I painted on this cop car. And uh, track shot live, of course. Here's Speedy. Yo, the Looney Hoons. <laughs> Look at those things. Geo Tracker. Oh, sec oh my goodness. <laughs> my stomach's in my chest. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, we lost the light bar. Yes. Oh, 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 yeah. Junk everywhere. Don't worry about that. We'll get it. Oh, he stalled. Oh. Don't stop. Keep it going, Willie. <laughs> All right. Hey, he lost the light bar and killed yeah, it. Yeah, he so he did. That light bar just totally got trashed. <laughs> oh, he's getting out. Yeah, he needs All a ride. Right, get him off the track. <laughs> I got to pop the hood. That's really cool. Now, did you uh, just bring one truck for this weekend? Yeah, this time we did. Hers is getting painted. Yeah, so yeah. last year cool. I had the 52 silver flatbed Ford. That yeah. Was, that was my girl. But she's getting painted. So. Cool. I had to wait. <laughs> nice. Now, you guys have a bunch of friends in the pits. You guys work together with the crew of people? or uh, A bunch of them couldn't come, but our, our little crew's over there. Yeah. Nice. We call ourselves the Stuck Fest crew. Stuck um, Fest? Because our friends actually put on Stuck Fest, which is an event in LaGrange, California. Mm -hmm. And so we all just do the events together, help each other out. So it's, nice. It's yeah, nice. And, uh, the Stuck Fest crew is a big part of, of our mud bogs. They really help us out a lot, like all these guys. Yeah, it, it truly takes a village to put on these events. It really does. Yes, it does. We're very fortunate to have our village. Yeah. Good job. Now you guys are going to have one more chance at winning the money yeah. today, right? Uh, we're going to try. We're going to try. Give her hell. Yeah? Do we'll you have a new strategy for how you're going to hit it? We're going to try. We'll see. I don't know, okay. I don't know how it's going to work out, but we'll see. Hopefully I don't blow it up. Yeah, maybe we should have did some practice runs before. But it's but getting a new motor soon, a 530, uh -huh. 535 stroker. Oh, okay. So Here we go. Yes. She's driving Dasher. Dasher from Colfax. Sponsors Moody Accents, Gold Vibe, Kombucheri. Special thanks, Miranda Rivers, for the tow. Come on, Miranda. Thanking yourself for the tow. And goes around the last tire. Chill down. She comes to the finish line. Let's go. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Nice. All right, here comes the track shot live. CRV. We painted the uh, Robbie Freedom with a mullet. <laughs> nice. Last time I couldn't even hear that's Jam Jam going there. Oh, go Jam Jam. Hi yo. Hi yo. Look at that CRV. <laughs> you painted the eagle on there? Yeah. Like quite the artist. Yeah, yeah. I gave uh, eagle a mullet. <laughs> America. America. Oh. oh. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Good job, Jam Jam. Nice. That was really cool. Michael Tix. Hey, Tix. Yeah? Ready to go. All right. All right, you guys. Yeah. All right, sir. Thank you. No, hold on. You, you need to hang out with Michael Tix. Oh, okay. okay. Break time. <laughs> well, I'm going to eat this churro. Right? <laughs> Here we go. It's a Ford Ranger. Ooh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I'll lick that up off there. Don't worry about it. It was pretty darn good. Uh, so did Jason Nabel, was he able to talk to you guys about how cool your guys' truck were and everything like that? Did you get to explain them? A little bit. A little bit? We don't know too much about this one. It's the first time we ever ran it. Well, you know, the really cool thing is, like, you guys are telling us about, you know, you're telling me that, you know, you guys got it in Florida and everything. Look at the sky there. Oh. Um, you know, you guys went down to Florida and got that. And, you know, those trucks, that style truck is really popular down south, yeah. down that way. Um, is it, are they as popular here as they are down there? No, there's only there's only a handful here in California. In okay. California, yeah. And that's what I thought. I didn't think that they were a, a huge thing. This is last year's winner right here. He is going at it hard yeah. again. Nate Goodwin, he's a good driver, man. He gets it. God, he damn near tripled that backside. <laughs> He didn't hit no cones this time, so that's good. Oh, get it. There you go. No cones. Clean run. We'll 47. Well, you got to give him credit. He's got all throttle in that yeah. thing. There ain't no doubt about that. He puts on a good show for yeah. sure. Yeah. So now we were talking about the tough trucks with uh, Ryan. Now he was saying that they run about 30 times a year. Are you guys about the same with the bog? Whew, we run, we wish. yeah, not 30. I would say this year's been the busiest year, and we have one just about every month. Yeah. One. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's not as popular uh, of a sport in California right now. It like, isn't. No. Okay. So when we saw Blaine's event, we were excited for another another mud bogging opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Look at the old Bronco on the back. Those things are always amazing jumping, you know, for a stock vehicle. Those right. things are, are impressive. They can take the abuse that IFS for front <laughs> yeah. suspension. Boy, that corner over there is just solid. They yeah. can't they can't slide it. Nice run. So do you guys ever take those things out and recreationally bog them? Not really a lot of places in California. They're even old, yeah, really. No. LaGrange, you know, but they, they want everything registered, you know. Half this stuff ain't even registered. Papered. Right, right. Yeah. Nice little Ford Ranger making the laps yeah. right there. God, those back jumps have got that little kick on them that get that rear end yeah. up in the air. So I'm from the upper Midwest, and, uh, you know, we have a lot of bogging up there. You know, there's a lot of places that we can go, you know, um, not quite that caliber of trucks. There are a lot of them, but not, I mean, you don't see them, you know, uh, smaller stuff definitely, um, you know, but, uh, you know, the, the big high horsepowered hill and hole jumpers and hard hitters yeah. like that. You know, we got some of them, but not that much. But, I mean, there's bogs all over the place up north that, you know, yeah, people go run those things. Ryan all right. Rise. Now, this is Ryan right here. He's got the fast time right now. This yeah. is the guy that was up here talking. 351. <laughs> Listen to the throttle response. He rhythms that out. He waits. He ain't wasting. Oh, bummer. Get her back under control. Making that final corner for the air. See if he gives us some. Oh, yeah, he's holding it. <laughs> nice, nice. That's the long jump so far, no doubt yeah. about it. No doubt about it. Got the big king coils up front there, just taking up, absorbing up all that stuff. Um, so with your guys' other truck, you're going to rebuild that one. You got a big motor. And what do you got in that one for a power plant in the blue one? That's a 557 stroker. So it's uh, got nitrous to it now. So it's. A little over a thousand horsepower. Oh, it, yeah, it didn't I mean, have nitrous last time. Yeah, I mean, why? Why wouldn't you put <laughs> nitrous to it? I mean, you know, it's uh, uh, big shoes. You got something to prove, or what's up? Yeah. Got to beat that rock bouncer. <laughs> yeah, Chris here. Hyman. He's you know, <laughs> I got to get him. <laughs> it's a little friendly competition. Yeah. With friends. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Them rock bouncers, boy, if you put those things together in the right way, that narrow or cut tire on that thing, that thing was nasty. Man, it's just so light, too. Yeah. It's just got a lot of horsepower. Love those little Cherokees out there having fun. 
going through the rhythm section, doesn't even care, just give it throttle and see what happens. <laughs> there we go. Uh-oh. He lost gear. Uh-oh. Lost gear. So uh, who is running that rock bouncer? That's uh, a friend of Chris Hyman. Uh, what's his name? I don't remember his name. I, I, it. I called it out on there. I didn't know if yeah. you guys knew him real good or anything yeah. like that. But that uh, I, uh, I walked over and I looked at that. That's that's one thing that we don't have any of that stuff up there in the, in the Midwest. You know, we got buggies and stuff like that, but not not that much. Yeah. And, you know, so when I walked by and I looked at that thing, we went down to Tennessee and we looked at some at a show when we were down there. And uh, they had an event. And uh, what an amazing work of art some right. of those things are. And that one right there is uh it, that is a top-notch piece of equipment and the amount of abuse you can put those things through and they just hold up no oh, it's Man. it's unbelievable yeah so now i noticed that i did now your truck is that got is, what's that got rock balls in that one that you're yeah, running here five okay. tons five tons that's what i thought they yeah. were um and he's got like a portal not a portal but he's got uh the uh, implement style acts. I can't remember what they call those ones. On the, on the Camaro or on that? Uh, well, the Camaro's got portals. Uh, yeah. Um, but I know on that rock bouncer, that's got that's got like an implement style or an industrial style axle. Well, right? yeah, I, I seen it because the drive line comes out the front like normal. Yep. So it's, but it's heavy duty. Yeah. yeah. I was just wondering if you knew exactly what those ones were. I don't know. So I'm, this guy. I'm, I'm still new to the Rockwell world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, either one doesn't matter. Um, yeah, that's that's it's it's kind of crazy when you get into that stuff. All right, now he didn't finish his first one because he oversteered that one. Thirty-five. He ran a good run there. Good run. So on those Rockwells like that with the five tons, I mean, you know that that hurts. Uh, you know those are heavy. You know, very that's, heavy. That's uh, that's one of the downsides of them. They're a lot stronger in a lot of different ways, but that extra weight being so low down into the ground, into the mud, it you know, can definitely be a, a deterrent. Yeah. That's why I definitely need more horsepower. What uh, what do you got in that one for a mill? That's a 496. It's about 700 horse. It, I would say it's crisp. It sounds it, good. Oh, it runs good. Yeah, it just needs a little more. Yeah. <laughs> well, you start adding weight, you got to start adding horsepower, yeah. right? You got those bigger tires, you got to turn the bigger tires, you yeah. know. Each one of those tires weighing a little bit more. It's a girl thing. It's coming around the corner good. She's doing really good. Yeah. Now, she's a mud bogger also, isn't yeah. she? Oh, yeah. There we oh, go. Geez. Nice. Oh. Boy, she wants to fight for that long jump <laughs> yeah. there a little bit. Good. Nice run. It's a girl thing. I'm looking forward to next spring extreme when we're racing against each other. Both the big trucks. Oh, that'll be awesome. <laughs> now, is your trailer big enough to haul both of them? I don't know. I don't think so, but we'll make it happen. <laughs> there it is. Oh! 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 Whoa! Oh. Whoa. Whoa, that ain't good. All right, that you guys. Damn. His belt's held him in. He's in a good spot. You guys got to remember, there's a lot of safety gear put into these professional trucks here. They got good cage, good belts. And uh, the first response right there from from uh, Williams, entered, they're, they're right there for the track. Yeah, don't let that outside deceive you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. That is the best thing about having good first responders there to be their good track. Here we go. We've got the replay, replay going. Look at that. Ooh. Most definitely going for, for, the, for the winner. There it is. Look at that. Drivers out. See, folks? He's good. That is the whole thing. Let's, you know, we're sitting here, we're talking about some safety. I mean, I, I looked at your truck. I mean, you know, with all the all the lower cage, all the steel you see down below, huh? I mean, what kind of cage do you got on the top side of that no, one? I got a full cage inside. Uh, I got the five-point harness inside. You know, you got so, a racing suspension seat in there. You got it oh, all, yeah. and you're locked yep. in tight. I mean, it's it's good for a rollover. I mean, you know, oh, every yeah. time you you grab that throttle, I mean, it's, uh, you know, a good a good fall see that replay again let's see it again that was interesting yeah last jump might have got his steering I, yeah and if it didn't that's amazing that is some yeah. look at that folks wow Man. 
Good job, Uncle Bill, on grabbing that. Great job, Sequoia, <laughs> for pointing that camera in the right direction. You guys are so good at making us look good. I appreciate that living heck out of that. So, you know, you guys are hearing it right there from a competitor. You know, you, um, I mean, you know, when you buckle in and you lock that lap belt in and you got the shoulders locked in, I mean, you know, I mean, you're, you're, you're tight. I mean, it's... There's, you're not going anywhere. You're comfortable, right? Oh, no, okay. yeah, you're comfortable. You always still have that fear. You know, you don't want to de destroy the truck because it, <laughs> it's a lot of money. Oh, they don't give them away for free? No. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I, I, I thought they were all over in Florida for free. I was going to go down there and just grab me one. Yeah, you know, it yeah. sounded like that's what you guys did. <laughs> that was, it was a big trade. It was a trade deal. <laughs> yeah. A trade deal. We traded our little lowrider, 72. Oh. So, yeah. but we're, this is our world we love mud bugs. you know them florida guys them back east guys they love the california trucks oh oh that's i'm an upper midwest guy and i'm i love them no you rust know? you're right <laughs> you guys it's like i you guys if i invite you up to my house in minnesota i say all right i want you to go uh and don't get an std shot get a tetanus <laughs> shot okay let's 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 make sure you're good for that i don't want to send you guys back to california with gangrene or anything yeah. like that so yeah <laughs> no, but, that's, I, but seriously, I mean, you know, like you say, you don't want to wreck your equipment. You want to come under and have fun. And, I mean, you know, we do demolition derby. That's our big thing. Mm -hmm. You know, we, I mean, we build our stuff to wreck it. We get it. There's two totally different things. But, I mean, you know, the, the, the value that's put into that stuff and, and uh, the, you know, the continued fun and everything. So, you guys, if you're out there loving motorsports, take a look at this. This is a yeah. whole other opportunity, and uh, you know, to come out and have fun. And, and I watched all you guys out in the pits. I mean, you guys are all friends. You're shaking yeah. hands, great, happy to see each other. Oh, so, I no. mean, it's a family. It is. We have our friendly banter, you know, <laughs> but it makes it funner. Yeah. Uh, no, for real, and that's, that's exactly it. You know, so uh, I noticed there's a huge difference in all these in all these pro bloggers that are out here. I mean, you got the guy that's running the pizza cutters that are, you know, uh, trucks down on the ground, doesn't have a whole, I mean, it's got suspension, but it ain't like suspension like your guys' is. Um, you know, then you've got, you know, you got the paddles, you know, the, the you know, the, like if you want to call that the flat drag or whatever. Yeah. Um, I mean, so so what makes you make the decision as to, and then you got, you know, like this year, you got the bouncer out here. I, I mean, um, you know, the Camaro with portals. Uh, I mean, what, what made you guys choose the direction that you went? Uh, I just, you know, the big trucks. A buddy of mine has one, and I was just, I was blown away. I wanted one. Yep. So the last one, I got the blue and white one. But when you drive those things... I don't know, maybe being so big, you feel like king of the world. You're in there, you got a lot of horsepower, you're huge, like, there's, there's no better feeling when you're in a truck. And just that, I don't know, the smell of the race fuel, oh. the, oh. the adrenaline rush, the, uh -huh. just everything about it. And seeing the people, like, go by and take pictures of your truck and, and see the kids' faces as you pull up, ah, look at that truck. It's a pretty cool feeling. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd, I'd copy that. Like you talk about the race feel, you know, it's like, uh, you know, I go I go dip my wife's robe in it every once in a while. Just so, you know, it's like, you know, I love you, sweetheart. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, you know the funny thing is, though, it's like with those big trucks and everything like that. Um, you know, when you sit there and you go talk to the gentlemen and, and, and ladies too, you know, they have them too. You, know, you sit there and you go talk to them, and it's like they love that conversation. So, folks, if you are walking past a piece of equipment out there and you see it, stop and talk to these people. I mean, you know, they sacrifice a lot of stuff to have these toys and the, the you know, the, the the stuff to race and everything like that. I mean, it's you know, they do it for conversation. They do it. They want you to come enjoy it because. Um, they want you to enjoy it just as much as they enjoy it. So am, am I correct with oh, that no, statement? I love it. Yeah. So please, I mean, when you come on over there, go take a look at them. Ask them what, what year Ford it is. Ask them about the motor. You know, I mean, you can Google some questions. It's, yeah. it's seriously, and let them ask them. And, and, or let them answer them, I'm sorry. So that's that's huge. I mean, um, you know, I love it when people come look at my derby car. I like yeah. it. You know, if you, you know, you're sitting at a car show and somebody comes over and looks at your car and yeah. wants to talk to you about it, you know, so that's, oh, that's what you're there for. Oh, yeah. So, so my silver 52 Ford that I had out here last year, that's my normal bogger that I have. I love talking about that thing. We take it to car shows sometimes, and I'll sit there and I'll talk all day about my <laughs> Well, it, what I always thought, you know, you're a peanut of a woman. I mean, you know, it's like, and then when you're standing next to your truck and, and it, it's just a sexy truck, I mean, it's just a beautiful line truck and everything like that. And then, you know, to, to have a his and hers together 
is is great. This is the one the motor was jumping out of earlier. Yeah, and I think it did it. I think it did it again. Yeah, I think it did it again. I think they just lost everything that they had going. Oh zip, zip ties weren't strong enough. Yep. <laughs> Yours? Oh. Oh, no. oh, oh. Bronco rolled, huh? Or this one? The what do you have, zip tie and, and bailing wire? Is that what you oh, said yeah. they fixed it? <laughs> yeah. Love that. Uh, it's, I mean, there. You know what, duct tape bailing wire. You know, if you can't fix something with that, you got to go back to YouTube and figure out. You know, what I mean, <laughs> my brother and we were kids he had a motorcycle. The throttle cable broke, so he pulled it up, piece of string up to his helmet. <laughs> uh, we uh we had a, a, a buddy of ours that uh we used to do a lot of off-roading you know trails and, and rocks and stuff like that i had a I had a small buggy and um it was funnier than heck because you know his we, we had this big sand hill and it, it uh it's called noid and he's like i'm making that son of a gun you know and it's a memorial weekend and and his, his throttle broke on it so he's reaching down he's got like eight zip ties and hooped together and he's up here pulling on this thing trying to run this hill and four-wheel drive i mean you know it's just ripping the steering wheel out of your hand and everything and and i know so the moral of the story is just stop when it's wrong okay because it's not going to work good for you so have you ever had any uh, desire to do any of this tough truck stuff or no i don't think no. i'd like my body when i was in my you know, <laughs> later years after doing all this right you know, like it poor, looks fun, but poor Katrina from last year, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jeez. yes. Um, but boy, what a crowd favorite! <laughs> you know, oh, it's like yeah. she's definitely awesome. Yeah, you don't get. I mean, there, there seem like quite a few girls in the tough trucks, but you don't get a whole lot of girls in the at these off-road like motorsports. No. Much. Like mud bogging, there's there's a few girls out there, but not consistently. You know, they pop up every once in a while. That truck flies real nice, so, you know. You know they yeah. got that thing weighted in the back with that big tire and everything like that, you know, to balance it out. But uh, you know, some of these trucks they really got the geometry figured out and they oh, fly yeah. pretty smooth. I definitely like it when the little girls come up to me and they're just they just want to take a picture with me and my truck, and it just, I'm like, you can do it too, you know. Like, yeah. It's not a man sport, right? I didn't mean to call you a peanut either or anything like that, right. but I mean, you know, it's like, and I apologize no, about that. I wasn't good. discriminating by no means, but it's, you know, it, it's, it, I, and I'll say it, it, even something probably worse. It's adorable when some, you know, it's like, you know, it, you don't, you don't have to be a big brute of a person to do this. You know, you can, you can jump on in there. It, it don't take much to push the throttle to the floor and steer, right? Yeah, no. I mean, sometimes when we're done, I'm like, my, my arm's sore from the shifter. <laughs> Her last race, she didn't do the greatest. She did good, but she's, I, I, uh, right. I drove like and a girl. <laughs> I was so mad at myself, but I drove. It was a clean run, beautiful run, but slow. It was so slow. I wasn't happy. You know, you have to give these Jeeps a ton of credit because they don't do much to them, and they just take the yeah. beating. It's just unbelievable. 16 seconds. Ooh, doing good, though. Ooh, nice, nice corner right there. Coming through the rhythm wide open. Getting that last tire. He's giving it. Come on, folks. See some air. Nice. They're, oh, he's, they're getting down there close. <clears throat> so, so as she drives like a girl, you almost want to say thank you because you didn't want to marry a man, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, was that bad? No, she <laughs> actually she actually drives really good. <laughs> She's come a long yeah. way. Yeah, and I, the first time I ever drove off road was competition 2020. And I'm like, do you think I should try practice first? And he's like, no, just. Send it. Just give it. <laughs> just give that's it. That's it. It's like throwing you into the deep end of the pool, not knowing if he can swim. Yeah, huh? I'm like, like <laughs> so I've been learning slowly, little, uh, little by little. <clears throat> so wait a minute. You said so 2020. So last year was only three years of competition or three years of bogging. Yeah, for, her, for me, yeah. yeah. That's that, you did. You did. That hole was eating a lot of people up last year. Yeah. yeah. I mean that last year that hole had lanes in it. You had a you had to be in the lane. And you know, and the lane crossed over halfway through. Yeah. You know, so if you didn't cross over that lane halfway through that pit last year, 
you were shit out or crap out of luck. <laughs> I mean, it, it was. It, 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 am I yeah. wrong? Yeah. I mean, that's the way I remembered it. Yeah, that truck is a really good bogger. Like, you know, get in the mud, have to fight your way through it, have fun, you know, yep. with it. So, and I've I've learned to really pick my lines well. Like, I can see the line. I'm like, all right, that's my line. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, if you guys got to get going to get ready to, yeah. I'm sorry, we're having fun. I love talking to you guys. Yeah. You guys are Appreciate awesome. I, I want you know, I want people to to know who you are and everything like that. Yeah. Once again, <clears throat> you guys got a Facebook page or anything like that that so, people can follow you on? Um, well, she has Untethered Racing. So Untethered Racing, I have that on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. I, okay. I started not that long ago, so that's like my truck, all it's racing. Yep. And then I just started the Miller Mud Box page on Facebook. All right, so Miller's Bog. Mud Bogs page. Yeah, Miller right. Mud Bogs. Bogs with two Gs. Bogs, this was mine right. right here, Miller Mud Miller, Bogs. Miller Mud Bogs. All right, you guys, take a look at that stuff. Get out there, like, follow, and share. Um, I mean, that's what it is, and you're going to watch these guys running all around California yeah. here having fun. They'll have uh, the big blue beast out here. When's that going to be done? Pretty soon, hopefully by open. June. Oh, well, right around the corner. My yeah. God, good luck with that one. So and our uh, next event is in June. <laughs> All at, right. At our well, place, so well get on there. Follow that, you guys. Uh, like, share, follow, and let them know uh, how awesome they're doing out there. And thank you so much for hey, your guys' thank you. time. Thank you. And uh, thanks Take for putting care. on one hell of a good show, oh, yeah. you guys. That's what All we're right. here for. <laughs> excellent, excellent. There you go, you guys. You're going to see this stuff coming on more and more. Um, that's it. it just goes to show that it doesn't matter who you are, what you are, where you are. You can be out here doing exactly what these guys are doing. But get on there, Miller Mud Bogs. Follow them on, on, uh, on the, the web. Hi, Jason. What's up, buddy? Jason's coming back. Well, look at me on your left side. Yeah. How did how did the restroom work for you? Uh, it was there. Thank goodness. Yeah, that's. I needed it. I had to get up and go to the restroom so bad. I was I was just starving for it, man. Yeah, Skinny was uh, saying that. Oh, am I gonna fall down? Or I get blowed over? <sighs> Wind picked up a little here. That should help and hurt Bill's equipment. <laughs> yeah. Keep the dust off. Yeah, that's a good crew of people right there. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, right. We've had none but great guests today. Uh, salute Katrina for always being really professional. And, yeah. Uh, who won? Uh, Don't, know. Don't know yet. I, haven't, I didn't hear. They haven't told us who won yet. Yep. Nope. No clue. Hours now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, I know the CRV was hoping it had a good chance. Yeah, help us out. Uh, have them bring that information to us so we know who won the tough trucks. They, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so, so like I said, I, I took off and I went and I had to go to use the restroom so bad. And um, so I went down there and rallied through. And uh, what did you think of that trezo stick? Oh, so good. I didn't realize it was full of chocolate. Oh, was chocolate bad for you? No, no. I, I made a mess while I sat here uh, and waited <laughs> to eat it. Uh, it was leaking all over our notes. Yeah, well. So there's chocolate on our notes. I didn't wait. I, I ate mine. I, I, I didn't want to be rude and eat it on TV with you. You know, as I figured, I'd eat mine on the side. And. Um, yeah, every little bit of chocolate that I dripped on my hand, I licked off. I wasn't letting that go to waste. <laughs> that, was, that was super, super good. I really enjoyed the tough trucks. What a good time. Yeah. Um, they really flew through the air. Um, you know what I mean? So it's like Rangers, Cherokees, Geo Trackers. How about that? Uh, how about that uh, uh, um, uh, Ford Bronco, the number sixty-nine that took that dirty crash over there? Yeah, what was that? That was a that was a vicious hit. I mean, that, but yeah, the know, at, the back end of the thing got flipped up. Yeah, uh, you know, butt over teacups, as they say. Yeah, I swore. <laughs> I I I I got a couple swear words on me today. I gotta I gotta throw a couple dollars in the swear jar at the TSL house. <laughs> Well, I'm enjoying myself today. What a great second day of Spring Extreme. Uh, Williams Enterprises always does a good thing. Uh, the crowd here and crew here are just loving tough trucks. So uh, I learned a lot that there's, you know, there's, if you travel enough, there's 30 truff, tough truck things to do a year, or, you know, within range of this space. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's every other weekend, every weekend. Our first driver will be... 
you know, and they said, you know, like they were talking about the mud bogs, you know, it's, they, they run about 12 of them a year, about once a month and everything. It's like, so, you know, that ain't that bad. I mean, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's a dedication there too. So, yeah, because I'm sure there's, I'm sure just washing these things takes a week. Oh, I remember when, when we used to have ours, I would literally put it out in the backyard and put the sprinkler underneath it for a week. Wow. Just leave a sprinkler underneath it. And it just sit there. <laughs> so smart. You know, I hated cleaning them. The smartest thing I ever did was stay away from the mud. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll go trail trail ride and I'll go to the rocks. Yeah. That's just stay away from the mud. Mud's dirty. It really is. But it looks so cool flying. Oh, it, oh, it does. As long as I don't have to clean up after it, you know. It was just like, like fatty taking my side-by-side -side out on the track that was wetter than heck at the throwdown. It's like, oh, yeah, that's totally fun to go out there and whip donuts. Now go clean it, you yeah. know? What a friend. Yeah, good friend. All right, we're ready. There goes the Jeep. That Jeep has been through this mud hole more times today than anything. I think they have three different drivers for that Jeep. Wow. What a nice guy to let all those youth drive his Jeep and everything like that. That's that's so cool. Yeah. How did that interview go with him? Uh, really well. Um, you know, we talked about, uh, you know, how uh, they got started and what it's like to live within the community of doing this, how many kids are doing it at school um, with him. And, uh, you know, we, 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 oh, we're back. There's, there's the birthday boy. Yeah, there it is. Happy birthday, Happy Scotty. The big old 13. That was fun to go pick on him and harass him a little bit. That was, he's, a, he's a very good, well-respected kid. Yes. Tyler Patrick's up next, youth driver. They got to switch into the Jeep. They got to switch positions real quick. Yeah. Hey, let's uh, you know, give a huge shout out to everybody that's watching us the second day here. Thank you so much, um, you guys. Uh, I know it's not demolition derby, but this is still super interesting. And you know, talking to these great people. Uh, thanks, Blaine, for sending up some of these people, the drivers and stuff like that, so that we could interview them and talk to them, and you know, kind of kind of get a little inside trader information from them. That's that was great. Thank you so much. Yeah, really fun day. We're having a good time out here. Oh, uh, you can just see all the big trucks crawling their way towards the staging area. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a low rumble running through the fairgrounds right now. Yeah. It's beautiful. Here we go, Tyler. Your turn to run it through. Here we go. Let's let it rip. Let's go, Jeep. Off and running. Keep it going, Tyler. 9.695. Nice. Nice. 9.6. Beautiful. And he's out. That's really good. That's the Youth Mud Bogs for the 2024 Spring Extreme. And now we have Today is Truck Spots. Madness. Trucks are so cool. Yeah. Trucks are, it's like, if you don't like trucks, there's something wrong with you. And James Mackey. I like trucks. Oh, yeah. Trucks, 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 trucks. trucks, trucks. trucks. Let's go. Come on, Dodge. James with a 5.967. All right, James. Nice run, James. James had to get pulled out last time. He didn't make the pit. Maybe the wind blowing down. The wind's picked up a lot. Maybe the wind's drying the pit out a little bit. I don't know. I know that they uh, re-dug out the back of it to take that shelf out that you were describing. They changed the angle coming out. Yeah, that pitch is it's more it's gradual. Li yeah, it's less steep.
Are they changing up the classes right now? I think so. Uh, or the, I think they got to run the Jeep back up there again. Like I think everyone's running the Jeep. Oh, I suppose, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, come on up. Oh, you went on the end there? No. Yeah, let, no, let's put you in the middle. Hold on. Dylan, Dylan Patrick yeah, is the, the owner of that Jeep, and he let both of his kids run it, so that was awesome. Now Dad's out here. It's his turn. That's right. <coughs> Send it. How you doing? Oh, here we go, Dad. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Nice. Now, now, what would you think if all of a sudden his kids beat him and they get to brag about what, uh, how, how fast they were in comparison to Dad? That would be awesome. Oh, that would be, uh, that'd be Christmas card worthy right there. Certainly. Here comes Taylor. She uh she didn't she's make it out of there last time. She's uh, ready this time. Really I think close, she's though. oh yeah. Really close. She's not gonna need that toe strap this time, right? I don't no. think so. There we go. Ooh, she launched good. Yeah, good launch. Oh, she's got this one. That's a nice run. She sat right on. Nice it. run, Taylor. Yeah. Five point four seven five. Wow. Nice. Taylor Elliott right there. She did not need the strap this time. Good job, girl. No, that was awesome. Look at that on the instant replay. Right. right out. Just ripped right through. All right, here comes Williams. I don't know who's driving this truck. Yeah. Almost like sounded like they wanted to shift that one. He wanted to go into warp speed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to launch out of the pit. That was pretty cool. Well, if you get stuck, you have to. Right. Got Bill with the drone right there, right over top of the pit. Heck yeah, Bill. Look at Bill. Nice drone right there. Here we go. Coming in hot. <laughs> Sounds good. And our last contestant, I believe this is Derek. Square body blazer, let's go. Derek, Derek. He got stuck last time too, he had to yep. use the strap. Yep. He got Absolutely dirty boots. Yep, we're not doing it this time. This yep. time we're I got this pass. one. Be interesting to see how he climbs out. Smooth. There you go. Nice. Nice. Good job. Nice replay right there. And that was Jacob McIntyre. Look at Bill just out there at the drone. He's that just drone out there is playing. Amazing. He's right here in the pit and now. Up next will be Bobby. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Drop the hammer. Bobby off and running. Hey, you didn't get stuck this time. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Everybody's doing much better the second time. Yeah. I wasn't uh, watching. Did they fill up to get the water truck out here and refill the pit? Nope, they no. did not. Okay, because sometimes okay, they do. Now it's clean up the truck. Oh. That's quick. Oh, the poor drone. Did you guys see that? Oh, yeah. yeah. The drone getting pelted. Nice. <laughs> Still got Good a clear job. picture. Nice. That's Our really cool. Coming out should be there. Well, actually, I did bring you guys a little something. If you oh, wouldn't mind. Yeah. You guys are always giving me stickers and t-shirts. Oh, yeah. Wanted yeah. to give you guys a little something. Thank you. 
You put it on. Mike and I both know to go ahead and just put it on the biggest. Yep. <laughs> make us a make us old possible with our mega knowledge. It's my first time making hats, so I apologize if they're not up to track shot standard. Oh, please. Following Cody will be Johnson. Figured we were waiting for the next class. Had a minute. Oh, you guys are amazing. Yeah, do I look good? Yeah. You look awesome. You look better now. Flat bill? I love it. That's my kind of hat. Everybody gives me hell when I got to go through and flatten out their bills and stuff for the hat. It's like, sorry. Uh, I like the flat bills. I do, too. I do, too. And my wife gives me crap because I don't know how to put them on straight. They're always crooked. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Whoa. That's insane. Wow. Yes. That was an amazing run. That that, Look at that replay. That blazer is that blazer's got some scoot and get, man. Look yeah. at that thing. I think he got to 50 mile an hour in there. Yes. Oh, here we go again. Oh yeah. They're digging through. They've got a straight path. They have to have yeah. it. There. Yeah. Everybody's pumped. Oh, but the way I see it is, if they don't like the flat bills, just stick them in your pocket and curl them the way that you like. Nice. I like mine yep. looking like they're brand new. <laughs> Like untouched, fresh on my head. Last uh, time, my hat gets crusty. It's, I throw them away. I can't. I don't know what it is. I'm you wash fussy them? about it. I. They're never the same. Yes. Wow! Look at that. Wow. Nice. <laughs> I like the slide to the stop. Yep. So what's it gonna take to get you two in a mud truck next year? Whoa. I don't like getting dirty. That's what Jason's for, remember? Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah. I'll ride with you, buddy. <laughs> Here we go. California edition. I think it sounds good. She, yeah, yeah. That's got full exhaust on it. That thing's barky. Yeah. And now coming up is... Get a big front bumper on this one. Trucks, trucks, trucks. Trucks. Come on, Zach. He had a 6.189 on his last run. You're going to do it four. Four and a half. 4.11. Oh, 4.11. I got under without going over. <laughs> <laughs> going the prices. is right. I was going to say, you're yeah. still in the prices right, Bob. <laughs> Price is wrong. <laughs> Only in California. Who won that fight, by the way? This should be back. That, that's a Happy Gilmore reference. That's, that's Bob. Help. Got it. Yeah. Uh, when he's asking, uh, when Scooter or whatever, okay, McGavin was uh, picking on Happy Gilmore. In the Chevy. <laughs> Here we go. Did you see the passenger? Yeah. You could barely see over the dashboard, right. just having the time of his life. Yeah. You see how much air they got out of there? They're getting yeah. air out of the hole now. They are. They're so launching. I think the mud truck is going to win the big air award this year. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot of air. Uh, Outlaw Mudbox, please make your way to staging area. Outlaw Mudbox, please make your way to staging area. There we go, Outlaw. Are you going to the Los Spaniel show? I'm going to do my best. I have to come keep you guys in line. There it is. That sounds <laughs> sweet. I don't know. Why don't you guys comment down below? If you guys want to see Hurricane Katrina at the Los Banos show, comment down below. Oh, maybe if enough God, people God, say God, it, God, maybe God, I'll God, show God, up. Oh, there it is. I think you'll be there with Fatty and Joe. Yeah. Oh, so I get to harass new people. I mean, um, spectate with some new people. I think you met Fatty before, right? Yeah. Yep. In, um, you North, met, uh, at the you North Cabash. Yeah, you met uh, uh, Joey also. Joey yep. was there. And was, he, then, uh, was he in full mustache? Anthony from nope. Cannonball. Anthony and Cannonball, all right. Yeah, you got the whole crew. You just need to meet Robbie. Did I meet him too? I I took a picture with a bunch of people last year. It was awesome. Yeah, there was, was, a, there lot was there's a lot of people there. We were in the parking lot that after the derby. There was a lot of drivers, a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on. It was amazing, you guys. So Track Shot Live after the NorCal Bash was driving around the pits handing out parts like they were Christmas elves. It was absolutely amazing to see just the um, look on all those faces. If they had a broken drive shaft, they would have something. If they 
uh, what else did you guys? You guys gave out tie rods and uh, <laughs> some plates. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that picture, you guys. That is a drone overhead of the facility. Look at the size of this facility. Look at how green it is. Look at the trees. Wow, you got all kinds of stuff. Bill is. There's us. There we are. Look at the size of this track. You can really get a good perspective from that angle right there. Yeah. Look at the ruts in the, in the pit. I mean, they're only running one track. Oh. Yeah. There we're back. That's cool. That Three was awesome. Screens. So what did you guys think of that second round of the uh, Tough Trucks? They were giving it. They wanted to win. If they weren't in the winning number, they were trying. Yeah. They put on an amazing show. Oh, jeez. They really did. This second jump right there. I was is, holding my breath. Like, oh, is no. when everything comes apart. <laughs> what about Colt Keeney when his lights fell off when he was in the rhythm section and they just went flying? <laughs> they were going to cool. beat the heck out of him. I was afraid they were going to come in and whack him. Thank God he had a helmet on. Yeah. That's, that's why driver safety is important. you got to have your helmets, DOT helmets, got to have your neck braces. doesn't hurt to have a back brace, too, just a little extra stability. I don't think it's going to keep it from collapsing, though. What are we talking about? I have no idea what we're talking about, but I know what she's oh, talking right. about. That pack <laughs> race ain't going to do any good. All of a sudden, I was like, you better be quiet, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> what, she going to come across at me like a spider monkey? Yes. I'll hit her in her back. Oh, <laughs> no. Is that bad? I shouldn't have said it that way. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. Come on, you guys, comment. Whose side are you on here? Come on, comment down well, below. Of course, you're gonna be on your side. You're good looking. I'm fat. I'm ugly. You're the My one with God. the talk show voice. You, you know what you're doing here. <laughs> Not hardly. Not hardly. All right, here you go. Here's that 68, 69 Camaro with the Unimog axles. This thing is a cool built vehicle. Got a nasty motor in it. Wow, 3.2. And do you see how they... Oh. Wasn't it 2? 3.2. Oh, I thought it said 2. Point. Oh. That's what I thought. 3.227 is what I heard. But so do you see how I they heard. always make them stop at the end? The tough trucks, the mud box, you always have to come to a yep. complete stop. Safety first. Yeah, I saw them drawing lines out there, like, for, I guess, just for that. You know, you must stop by the line or you're disqualified or something. Well, it's a safety issue because you have people in the pits and you can't always see where you're going. Even with the tough trucks, you break your windshield. Yeah. yeah. And these trucks are covered in mud. Well, that's that. Nah, that's exactly it. Well, the other thing, too, with these things is, uh, the you know, blazer. their shutdown lane is really short here. True. Come on, Blazer. <laughs> They're holding it. Almost jumped out the side. 3.998. Wow. You gotta remember, some of these mutters don't even have windshields. Look at that one right there. Yeah. Wow. Not this one coming up, folks, but the uh, the next one doesn't even have any windows. This is the 700 horse brand new motor, right? Or no, he's getting a brand new motor. No, he's putting a brand new motor in his other one. He still owns his big one, the other big one that won last year. <clears throat> and uh, they'll be running here in June. They will have his and hers running out here. I bet they're amazing at parallel parking in that truck. <laughs> yeah. Just drive over the car in front of you. <laughs> Won't even touch the axle. All right, Here they're lining up. Totally grip that wall. Oh, look, they have my sticker on the back of their truck. Nice. Good job, Les. That was a good run. That was. A, I think they dug new lines in that. In that I was going to say he. Uh, there, there's a new line in there. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice shot there, Bill. You can see how wide that is. That truck is ten and a half feet wide. That is an amazing truck. Got that S10 rip through there. These guys are holding their own big trucks, little trucks. They're doing amazing today. 
Look at the light bar. Is that giant tall truck not going to run a second time? Well, the really tall, skinny tires. Yeah. Oh, they run in a modified and outlaw, right? I don't see anything else staging. I didn't say. I oh, think okay. this is outlaw right now, ain't it? Yeah, this is outlaw. Oh, okay. Woo! Oh. Uh, he had the brakes. 3.45. Look at this oh, replay, you guys. 3.05. Look at that. Yeah, that's the fastest time tonight. Now that is how you build a mud digger. Yeah. Who do we got here? James. Mackie. James. Good job, James. Yeah. I love seeing the kids in the passenger seat. They're so happy. They're having the time of their life. They certainly are. It, it's great to see all the families supporting each other out here. Um, I believe this is, is this the last 10. participant of the weekend? I think that's higher. Uh, well, I'm sorry, folks. This is Nick Martin. Nick Martin. This is the final run of the night. Final run this of the is night. Nick Martin. Been a heck of a day on Track Shot Live. Heck of a weekend for Track Shot Live. Yes. This has been amazing. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. We, we enjoy having you up here. Nick Martin had a 3.8. Just look at how that is built. First run. No, a six. Do you think one, they run on ethylene one, or gas? Six. Um, six <coughs> it's so hard to say, Adam. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh! Wow! 4.03! 4.03! Not quite fast enough to take the win, but still an amazing run. Right? Oh, we got more stuff. Are they coming in or well, that? Are they going there to park? That's it! That was the last run of the night, they said. That is it! Wow, what a weekend! That was Incredible. crazy. Incredible! I don't want it to be over yet. No, it's not dark. The lights are just barely turning on. How was it last night with uh, between the two-man derby and the main? How was that for you guys? Because it got dark and cold very quickly. Uh, it was brutally cold. We were we were very chilled to the bone, no doubt about you it. You guys are from back east. You should be used to it. You guys, uh, yeah, last year was you guys were getting sunburned. Yeah. yeah well, well I, I didn't bring a coat. I brought a hoodie. We, I'm coming William Enterprise is selling them. <coughs> Well, <laughs> we uh, we still got sunburned. I feel it in many places. So mm -hmm. that's that still happened this year. Many places. <laughs> right. So. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for for watching. Thank you guys to the whole Track Shot family for letting me come on here and talk to you guys. Please don't forget like, subscribe, share it with your friends. There's going to be more derbies. Don't forget to stay notified. Hit that little notification bell icon. That way you know when they're coming on live next. Like, subscribe, comment. Free ninety nine. That's, that's what it is. Now, where can they find you at, sweetheart? Well, if you guys are in the Northern California area, I cover everything from Woodland, Sacramento, up to Wairica in Oregon, Lakeview, Oregon. You can find me at Hurricane Katrina X63 on YouTube.com. Uh, Got to give a huge shout out to all the great sponsors. You see them on the bottom of the reel, all the local sponsors. Please, everybody, if you see some way or any way that you can give a shout out to them, say, we seen you at Spring Extreme 2024. Thank you so much for being a great sponsor. Thanks for being part of it. We've seen you on TSL, and uh, that's the real deal. All of our sponsors on the right-hand side, all of our premier sponsors that have been giving us all this great entertainment for, for multiple oh, years side. and everything Inside. like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, make sure you make sure you shout out to them. Do what you can do to them to, to assist, and, you know, if it's parts or whatever it is, or just give them a thank you for being a sponsor. You guys, that is huge. And another thing, do not forget to give thanks to all the great promoters that bring us out to uh, to track shot live to their events to show you that um, it is a huge dedication for them to bring you this at the free 99 family there's no doubt about it so please don't forget to give thanks the blaine williams family spring extreme williams enterprises uh hats off to you absolutely hats off to you you guys killed it this weekend it was an amazing show you put on a clean well-organized event everybody's going home safe everybody's going home happy if they're not happy there's something wrong with them i mean i'm sorry that's just my opinion this track was a dime all weekend long 
from the derby to the mud box to the tough trucks it was right there it was a dime congratulations yes. to heavy handyman um they did uh, they did a, a, a impeccable job here it was um, a long time like you could see updates from week by week month by month and they really completely re-leveled and i think they did an amazing job and look at the way they set the track up this year yeah it, it was put together it was definitely thought through and everything like that so you know, as uh, as my opinion, which means absolutely nothing, uh, this is one of the top ten shows that I have seen in my life. Um, I had a blast here. California, thank you so much for opening up your doors and welcoming TSL uh, to, to, to your home, to your state, to your everything. And that's exactly what the whole situation is. So please, everybody out there, thank you so much for the continued uh, support, sponsorships, all that stuff. Like, share. Follow, get it all out there, you guys. Um, Sour, tell us the end of it, my man. All right, salute uh, Bill and Sequoia behind the decks. Without them running the show, we don't have a show. Salute them for putting it up there. Everyone else that takes care of us, thank you so much for being up here with us. You're a great uh, wealth of information for Northern California Demolition Derby and Tough Trucks. Hey, How do you do you. it? What is that you're giving out? You know? The heart. Yo. Uh, so that's, I knew a song. I don't know what I ran good at that stuff, but uh, that's where so it I, is. I thank oh, you guys so see. much. Uh, TrackShotLive.com. Uh, pretty soon the web store is going to be up and banging, and uh, we're going to have stuff to uh, help get through the rest of the season. Sounds great. So who won the big air? We don't even know. We don't even know who won the thing right now. I see... Uh, um, we can't sign off until we find uh, that out. Uh, we'll, you look on look online. You'll figure it out because yeah, you know, I see the meeting across the yeah. way where they're just sorting things out. But uh, thank you, Spring Extreme 2024. Sounds great. Yuba City, California, April 27th. Smashing for skin. We're going to be there, you guys. That's the next event we're going to be at. Don't forget, you're going to see that raffle coming out this week live. Put as many spots as you want for 50 bucks a stick. Get on there and try to win that amazing Terry Frank Imperial. Uh, yeah. Mr. Frank, you're an amazing person. So many different ways. Thank you so much for everything. But like we say, April 27th, there's still spots open. You can get there. You can smash a car or just come on down and party and just be part of the great event. That's where it's at, you guys. We love you all out there. Be good. Do something great to each other. Peace to you. Doing the done it.
me. <laughs> I just videoed it. I'm gonna send it. <laughs> Everyone had to be mature, be butts and nuts, and then there's Bobby. Fucking Bobby. Bobby don't like us. <laughs>